and welcome to Shake the Mic. Today, I'm joined by a very well-traveled, well-educated man. He doesn't claim to be an expert on anything, but he certainly knows his stuff. Today, he joins me in the studio to talk about a lost, ancient, organic civilization, the mystery behind megalithic construction, suppressed information, modern civilization, the system, COVID, and more. Welcome on, Baz McCarver. Baz, how are we, mate? Thanks oh, for coming mate. on. Yeah, like I say, I'm a... Uh... Bit taken back that you wanted me to come on here. I thought, what do you want to fucking talk to me for? <laughs> <laughs> You're an interesting guy, yeah, Baz. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just got, I've just got opinions. I'm not an expert on anything. I just think, you know, if you want to find out something, go and have a look for yourself. Because I know for a fact all these cunts on the TV and the mainstream media, all they do is tell lies. And they've all, they've all got their own narrative. They're pushing it and pushing it. There's religion that goes, but, you know, in the Bible, it says everything was created 6,000 years ago. When clearly, in my opinion... You know, things were there was an advanced civilization way before that, so they can't really peddle it, can they? Because mm. it doesn't fit the narrative. So there's a lot of right. bullshit going on, a lot of smoke and mirrors, and uh, you know, it sort of in, it sort of in, insults my intelligence to lap it up and go, oh yeah, that's right. When I know, looking at it, it's a load of fucking shit. Okay, you know? and that's the bottom line. They, they just talk fucking <laughs> shit. You know. You've got these people in fucking, um, you know, academic universities and all this, like scholars and teachers and lecturers, you know, they're clinging on to the jobs, you know, because they, what they've been peddling is what they've been told reading out of books and everything. But okay. things are changing. Things are changing. We'll get to all that then. Yeah. Um, you get about, don't you? Yeah, I like to get about. The world's a playground, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're here to play. Um, I'd like to start <laughs> out with one of the primary reasons I reached out to you and I asked you to come on and it's the pyramids. Yeah. The pyramids of Egypt, fascinating mystery behind them and a the theory of an ancient lost organic civilization. Yeah. yeah. You've recently been to Egypt and you've seen these unbelievable, amazing structures and pieces of history, haven't you, Baz? Yeah. And you spent a lot of time studying pyramids, yeah. the podcasts, yeah. reading, yeah. And you've gained enough knowledge now to present an educated theory yeah. to who, what, where, why, and when. For me, we need to start at the how and the when. When is it proposed in mainstream education that the pyramids were built? Five to 6,000 years ago, but, you know, they do carbon dating, and that's obviously organic matter that's around the, the, the pyramids at the time. And then, they, you know, um, but because Egypt spanned for so long, over a good few thousand years, which is true, but... Um, you know, the, I believe the the Egyptians they inherited the the big the big pyramids. You know, the main Giza plateau. Yeah, yeah. That was there before the time of you know. I, in my own, I can't prove this because I'm not an expert. But the road I've gone down, you're looking at thirty thirty odd thousand years ago, <sighs> and then there's a massive gap, and they call things the Stone Age, and then people have regrouped again, and then people have, you know, civilization has carried on again, and. They've, they've stumbled across it and then they don't really know what was going on down there at the time. I can only imagine like the world, if the world went, if the world crashed now and there's a few survivors everywhere and everyone regrouped, there'd be myths and legends about the ancient past. So like a helicopter, you know, it's a collective of people that make a helicopter, but not one single man could make a helicopter, could they? No. So it's like when people regrouped, years ago after a cataclysm that I, I'm going all off over it, but I believe there was a cataclysm about 12,000 years ago. Okay. Um, and I've, you know, through Graham Hancock as well, I've watched him and I've listened to him, but I used to think this years ago when I was a kid and it sort of got me into it all, you know, um, looking at the, looking at stuff, stuff just doesn't add up all over the world. You Graham know? Hancock's I know, I'm, I know I'm going off a little bit, but it do, things just don't add up basically. Okay. And, and the Egyptians, you know, you have to look at the hieroglyphs on all these stonework and all those hieroglyphs are shit. It's like graffiti onto like granite stone, which is cut precision razors, you know, sharp. We'll come to all it. Yeah, We're going to get know, to it, We're going to get to it. And I'm thinking, what the fuck's going on here? Graham Hancock's a fucking geezer, isn't he? Absolute like geezer. Off by saying yeah, that. And, and like I say, when and I was Randall a, Carson, Randall well. Carson, yeah, Joe Rogan, you know. And it, the thing is, when I was a kid, I used to think these things anyway, and I, I could never talk to about it to anybody. I generally used to think about it because I look at things. Cause I have a, I generally see. I believe I see things a little bit different to other people. When you say you used to look at things differently as a kid, but yeah, a lot of different, a lot of things. Let's just try and like. Um, depict what you're saying to me are you talking about like 
the people who came before us, the time that went before us. Is yeah. that what you refer yeah, to Yeah, I used now? to look at it and I think, you know, because in the mainstream they'll tell you, you know, copper chisels and... Well, all this, this, is, this is what I was going to come to you know, and copper, say to you now. Copper chisels, I mean... When, when it was proposed that they built these pyramids, what tools and techniques do they say they use to build the pyramids with? Copper chisels. Copper chisels. Big fucking granite blocks. Like. So, and... Um, sand and water, sand and water, polishing. rope. You know, you, you've got you've got you've got stones that are weighing over a hundred tons. You know, look at the articulated lorries on the road now; they're like forty-five tons grossed out. You know, for me, in and, my mind, there's just no way they could have possibly used copper, no. sand, and water to achieve them outstanding no. results. No. The time, yeah. the manpower needed to yeah. produce such structures yeah. with such exactly. precision is just unthinkable exactly. with them suggestive methods. Um, what would you suggest, Baz, in your education from going and actually standing and seeing these wonderful, beautiful pieces of construction, blocks that big and time-wise alone, with the tools they said they had, myself personally, I think it's near enough impossible. Yeah. I don't think it's been proven yet for, them yeah. to, for anybody what, to achieve What they have done, though, because I've been to Egypt and I've seen myself, I've seen shit pyramids, right? And there's little stones, and they're just fucking shit. Right. That's what the Egyptians built because they tried to replicate what they, what you know, civilization grew upon with these, with because the, these fucking pyramids, these these real, these real, the, the the main ones, they've been there before the time, you know. So when when they said right originally, they will come to day, yeah, in a minute, they, yeah. But when when it was said to have been built by using copper chisels, and for you looking at it, just let's take one. Let's say the Pyramid of Giza, main pyramid. Yeah. To build that pyramid from start to finish, just with what we see on the surface, let's not, we'll, we'll talk about foundation and stuff Without like that. Without even the labour of mining just, it just, or anything, just, just, just the say, construction. Just, just the construction, what you see in yeah. front of you. With using dated tools, let's yeah. not just say copper chisels, because I believe yeah. that not to be true, yeah. but say using very dated tools, how many men and how much time would you propose that it'd take to build that? <laughs> a fucking lifetime. A <laughs> lifetime. But it, it's, it's impossible. It, it's, I don't know. It's impossible. It's, it's fucking impossible. I'll try to get my it's, mind it's, it's, it. it's, it's impossible with, ancient, with the, with the so-called proposed ancient tools. It's impossible. So if you said using tools that we've got today, Baz, yeah. and using using all the modern techniques yeah. and whatever we've got now. Yeah, well, well, so what we've got now. The engineering, then, yeah. Yeah. everything, manpower and time to build something like that, what would you say it'd take? <sighs> that accurately as well. Not um, just put it up, it's got to be accurate. Um, well, like... Uh, and also, could you, do you believe... Also, the geometry of it as well. It's got eight sides. It's got eight sides. It hasn't got four sides. If you look from it from space, there's a shadow. It's actually got four points. It's actually got eight points. The, the, the front of it actually goes in a bit. You can see, you can go Google it, have a look yourself and you'll see it. It's got eight, it's got eight points. It's a geometrical match, masterpiece. So Not just that though. Everyone focuses on that. Then there's the other one next to it. Then there's the other one next to it. And then you go to Deshaw. There's, a, there's the Red Pyramid and the Bent Pyramid as well. But the mainstream will tell you the Bent Pyramid is because they fucked it up and then it, it was going to collapse on itself. So then they started building it that way. So it was like a, a pyramid. It went up like that and then it goes even harder. But as if they just carry that on for the sake of just carrying it on. Don't you believe that, Bob? No, do, do you I think fuck? it was meant to I don't to believe be anything way. they say. I don't believe anything. <laughs> I don't believe well, anything. I believe to a point, what well, you know, the, the Egyptians were there. I do believe the Egyptians were there. Obviously, the Egyptians were there, but the Egyptians went around scribbling hieroglyphs everywhere, you know, claiming you, it was there. So, so, so your belief is before we go into what came before and stuff, because I want to touch on that later on in the yeah. podcast. But I'm saying, are your beliefs, Baz, that these pyramids were put thirty th roughly? I'm not saying I'm, I'm not, not yeah, holding you to a yeah, date. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not it's saying just that. A, it's just a rabbit hole I've gone down. Yeah, and so I've had you're, a, you're thinking roughly around thirty thousand yeah, years, them pyramids yeah, have been there yeah. for. And you believe that maybe 6,000 years ago, the Egyptians turned up and just they yeah. inherited that yeah. build. Well, well, civilization around the world started to regroup around that time. Yeah. And just luckily enough that there was people around there then that, that they lived around there where the pyramids were. And it's the same as all megalithic sites all over the world. And then they say that the gods built them. 
could 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 we? Which talk, is a, a supposed myth again, you know. Could we talk about um, the foundations of these builds and what's underneath them, Barry? Because well, there's, there's, there's a lab. Well, there's, that, a, there's a when I, when we, when I was there with my mate. The shafts that are going down there, it's all unexplained. So, in terms of depth? Oh, massive. 200, two 200 feet down. And underneath there, there's a there's a labyrinth and all, which is I haven't seen, but it's been it's been documented that it's there. And it's a maze of all... It's, it, do you know what it, the Giza Plateau looks like to me? In a modern time, if you can sort of like... Because obviously, in my belief, it was an ancient organic advanced civilization it almost looks when you look at it from above if you could look because i've seen drawings what other people have done when they've when they've when they've mapped out the the um the labyrinth and put it all together and you look at it from a fan zoom in it looks like a fucking circuit board mm. like, i'm telling you the whole thing is a function now i don't know what i'm not going to claim i know what it is but i know i know for a fact it looks like a it's not a fucking tomb it's not too it looks like a whole circuit board. it looks like Whatever was going on there, what this ancient, advanced organic civilization were doing, they were harnessing energy in a in a completely way that we can't even comprehend, and we still don't know now because because okay. everyone died, you know, in the cataclysm, and then people are regrouping. When you say the cataclysm, yeah, was that the younger Dryas? Yeah, the younger Dryas about twelve thousand years ago. There was an impact on the earth, and it pretty much decimated the whole of the civilization on the world, on a global scale. It was floods, and, weren't it, by? Yeah, well, yeah, because you're going to get an impact and you're going to get floods, fire, everything. It's all documented. Everyone will say it in all ancient in ancient texts and scrolls everywhere that there's a massive flood because there's obviously survivors and people tell the story and then it becomes myth, gets a bit twisted up, but something happened. Do you know what I can't get my head around, Yeah, And I was going to touch on it later, but I feel now is the right time to just touch on this with you. So... These people who were said to have just inherited it, it was passed down to them or whatever, there's definitely, definitely a massive gap. There's because, a massive gap. Because if... Where's if, the technology gone then? So if they, if they built it then, why hasn't the technology carried through then? And it's even... Let's put all let's the technology... Let's put technology aside. Let's put tools aside. Put yeah. everything aside. Let's just talk about knowledge. Knowledge. The, it, now, what we know in terms of archaeology, not even archaeology, in terms of engineering. Yeah. Engineering, now what we know, they knew a lot more. Yeah, and also, so just say like we, we everything, you know, there's a cataclysm now for us, and then people regrouped again, say another 6,000 years down the line. You know, they might have been putting the Stone Age though for 5,000 years from now. Because they, they would might, be. Yeah, they might then, get then they go, back then they go where a we fuck, are. Then they go a fucking different route again. Yeah. Because humans are a collective. We're, we're, we're not one person's idea. It's about talking and communicating to other. And it comes as a collective of ideas. And this is what I'm saying. This is why we don't know. No scientist can look you in the fucking eye now and say, this is how it was built then. Well, right then, if that's how it was built, fucking replicate it then. Well, this is what fucking I was going to say to you. They and they fucking, they fucking can't, because they can't and they won't. And do you know what? When they've got these quarries and they go, oh, they rolled these big stones along fucking, um, you know, logs. The Fuck. fucking land's like that. <laughs> you know, the fucking quarries are in mountains and that. I'm thinking... Look, I don't know what technology they had. I don't know. I don't claim to know, but I know there was something that we can't even fucking comprehend. Using those and tools. And I'm passionate about it. Using the tools that they said originally, Barry, yeah. Uh, I bullshit. was watching, he was saying, they're still yet to cut through one, one stone. One fucking stone. Some they blokes, haven't done one some single blokes, cut. Some bloke's on YouTube, yeah, and he's got this fucking thing and he's got a big saw that he's made out of copper or whatever and he's, and he's sawing it. It's a big block and he's putting sand in there and water. And he still hasn't cut through the cum. He's put it on YouTube and go, this is how they did it. Because after about three days, I think he went through about that much of the fuck, you know. <laughs> honestly, you can go and have a look at it yourself. So, so if you're just putting that into a yes, time so scale, buddy. Yeah, there you go, yeah. And I that, know. It's at that load, magnitude. It's a load of shit. It's just, it, it, it's not right, is it? No, it's a load of shit. So, in the in the foundations of the build, Baz, inside, yeah? Yeah. Whoa. If that goes down 100, 200 feet deep. But then they're, they're just things that are sporadic all over the place because there's places that are closed off as well. Like me and me, mate, we want on a tour guide thing. You know, people, they have these tour guides and they want you to go this way. They want you to go... There's a lot of it that's fucking closed off. They don't want you to see. 
Mm. I don't know why. Again, I'm not an expert, but there's things that are closed. Up. Why is it closed off? Mm, you'd have to try and apply for passes. To yeah, see you need you need you need, you need some serious dollar to go to these things. You know. Yeah. And, uh, but um, you know, like people like Graham Hancock, who's gone to these places though and paid the money, then he's fucking banned from Egypt because then he's given a different opinion that doesn't fit the narrative, and he's banned from Egypt. You know. Well, common sense surely tells modern man that using these methods and tools to achieve these results is just not logically possible. No. And a lot of information's being suppressed and yeah. muffled by the powers that be, the gatekeepers. <laughs> Why? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Well, I think it comes back to religion. I, I personally think it does. I don't think the, the world's ready for change yet. I don't think the world's ready. I, you know, I've, I've gone down a few rabbit holes in that. This this could be our fifth rodeo on Earth. You know, human hu anatomic humans have been recorded living as long as 900,000 years ago. People might laugh. Go and have a look yourself. Go and have a look. There is humans, atomic humans like me and you, walking the face of the Earth 900 fucking thousand years ago. How much can change in that time? Yeah? So much can change. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm not. I, I'm not if saying what we're living in now is a bad world because there was an ancient organic world. But there's a lot of good things in this world now. But there's a lot of fucking bad as well. We've lost our. We've lost our way. We've lost our soul. We've lost our papers. I personally think these these people that lived a long time before us that harnessed and understood the Earth's energy and the spirit of the world and well-being, they tapped into something that we can't even fucking comprehend because we're living in the ruins of a fucking cataclysm and we've regrouped on a different way and we've gone down a shit path. If you look at... Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Does, does it make sense? You know, it does. and like I say, I'm not an expert. These are only my opinions. They are only my opinions, but... If you look, if you look, Barry, uh, um, technology, let's let's get on a smaller scale. Go on. Let's look at 10 years. 10 years ago, what a TV was like to now. What exactly. a mobile phone exactly. was like to now. 10 years exactly. is a short period in time. Exactly. So and if you look at 50 years ago, exactly, fucking, and you, and you know something else went as in well. In the 70s, when you had a little black and white telly, and now it's fucking massive. Yeah. On and the you wall. know something else? I can't prove this either, because I'm not, like I say, I'm not a fucking expert, but I can't prove this. But there's a there was a there was a bloke that I was listening to, can't remember his name, and he he basically proved it. You know, say if everything's finished now in the world, they reckon within 10,000 years, pretty much all traces of our life as on this earth right now would be you wouldn't it'd be non-existent it'd be non-existent it'd be dissolved even iron would be dissolved everything would, everything would deteriorate but what would be left now if we all finish now in 10,000 years them fucking pyramids would still be there and all the monolithic work, monuments all over the world hmm. they would still be there now yeah, in 10,000 years they stand the so test of time they fucking stand the test of time so all these people like, these archaeologists that are clinging onto the jobs going around with you know, organic material well, of course they're going to carbon date it because there's been people around it through time. That's Ex past. Explain to the viewers, body who don't know all the likes of myself, yeah, exactly what is carbon dating. Are they looking at raw organic materials? Raw organic material, that's but so like, you know, so bodies or material that, you know, um, things Stone. That, so yeah, proof that humans have been around there at that time. Well, of course they've been around there at that time because, because people have been on the air for 900,000 years. So clear this up for the viewer, yeah. <laughs> Do you know so what I mean? They, they, they're finding... These raw organic materials, right? Yeah. Archaeologists. Yeah. They're then passing them on to scientists. Yeah. Who are then looking at this piece of material. And they just go, they just pick it at that and pick a date out. And then he gives him the answer and he goes, that's, that's the date of it then. Right. So, so, so for example, just because that piece of material is there. Yeah. It doesn't it mean that, doesn't mean that, that, that was built that then. That was built there. No. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking, what are you all doing? I thought we're, we're humans are supposed to come together as a collective and speak and communicate and not just shut people away. But again, because these people, though, in these positions of power have normally been to like privately educated schools. So they've, they've, they've grown up in a, in a religion society when they were younger from the 40s or whatever. You know, they've gone to these schools. They 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 think probably believe in God, which is a fucking joke because God doesn't exist. You've got you got to be an absolute whopper if you believe in God, and that's that's my take. If that's offensive, I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck either because it's it's the truth. <laughs> you know, which God do you uh, want about? Uh, fucking hell, there's uh, been loads, aren't there? Hey, so, aren't there? Do you think that they're entrenched in their in their in their teachings, Barry? Because no, they're not just entrenched. They're, they they've got they've got a they've got to fill that narrative now because. We're in this world where it's greedy and it's me, 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 me. And they've got these positions of power because years ago, these things that are being unearthed now, 
they went on earth even like 40 years ago. So these people have got these positions and jobs that lecture us and tell us what to do or tell us this is, this is the, the story. You know, it's, it's, there's not, now things have changed. They don't want to let that go. That's why I'm And, and they're, they're ignorant. They can't let it go because they'll lose their jobs because everything they've been teaching is fucking bullshit. So do you think the people who are in like uh, mainstream academics, people who are, you know, um, professors, people who are teaching, yeah. teaching these... Yeah, the, like, the, Egypt, like a, Egypt, Egyptologist, Egyptologist. Egyptologist. You know. What is the difference between an archaeologist and an Egyptologist. I don't really, like I say, I'm not an expert. I don't really know the difference, but I know, you know, it, archaeologists, they're digging up and they're finding, um, you know, organic material and stuff like that. And Egyptologists, they're on about like the theory of Egypt and, uh, you know, the background of Egypt. But what they're doing is though, they're complete, because they're, because they're academics and they, they buy into the mainstream shit and they're that way inclined, you know, the, you know, the type of people that want to vote remain, you know, the yes mm. people, they all think the same way. You know, people like me and other people, we think outside the box, critical thinkers. I look at things and I think, nah, that doesn't add it up. Doesn't it add doesn't up. add up. You know, I'm a 42 year old man, right? I'm, I'm a 42 year old man, right? I've got to that stage in my life where I don't really, I, I don't, you, you don't really need people to tell you what's what anymore now because there's that much smoke and mirrors and bullshit going around everywhere. You know, you sort of know what's what. If that, does that make sense? 100%. I know I'm going off a no, bit. No, no, I'm listening. But it does it, and it pisses me off, like, because no one's up for discussion. And also, say, like, you know, there's the religion thing going back 6,000 years. What about then if they if they just come clean and go, right, yeah, the earth does get hit by asteroids, and this is a, this is probably our fifth ra rodeo. They don't want to tell people that, and people aren't ready for that. For the reason being because behind that, I can't get me head around, buddy, but the only thing that I can think of why they don't want to say... Right, okay, hang on a minute. What we've been teaching is wrong. The what information is wrong. They, because they're going to lose their fucking lose the jobs. Because they're going to lose the jobs. I also honestly, feel like it's... Jack, a, I, honestly, Jack. I feel like it's an we ego. Need, do you know what we need to happen? We need them all to fucking die, right? When this, They need to die. And when they die... I'm sorry, but they need to die. And when they die then we'll move forward. But until they fucking die, nothing's going to progress and move well, forward. I hear the saying. Because throughout human history, things have always changed, haven't they? I hear the saying saying... Science advances one funeral at a time. There you go. There you go. And it's and sad. That, that, I've heard that it's before. True. It's sad, but it's true. It's because these people, that, that, not, I do think it's because of job body, but I think it's also because of ego. Some of them don't want to let go. Hang on, this is what I've been uh, teaching uh, for 20 they, years. Yeah, they don't want to accept this that. This was wrong. So you, I'd love someone to tell me, you know. So I'd would love, I. I'd, I'd love someone to even come in here now with proof and go, you're wrong, Baz. Because it's my belief, but... They, they, it's not just a belief with them. This is, this is part of the fucking, you know, it's like, nah, man. Who are the gatekeepers, Baz? Who are the people who are responsible for this misleading info and on what merit did it's they It's the whole their... system, mate. It's the whole, the whole cabal. It's just <laughs> what? the whole cabal. Do you know the, do you know these people who are in these positions? Yeah. On what merit did they claim that position? Uh, they've, they've done good and grades, they tick boxes. Yeah. You know, they tick boxes because they're academic, aren't they? Mm. I was shit at school, you know, but um, I've gone out and I've had a look myself and I'm a critical thinker and I think outside the box. Sorry. The, it's all right, don't worry about that. The, cool. um, they're altering Wikipedia all the time, yeah, aren't they? Because, it, because people are now looking into Wikipedia, on, a, on even on a general scale about everything, they're changing it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Because there's a narrative that the world is, the, the, you know, these these powers that be have gone a direction and they they have they are not stopping at anything, are they? No, not at all. You know I what feel, I'm saying, don't I, you? Yeah, I do, and we'll come I to that. I hope everyone knows what I'm saying. They will, we'll come to know, that you know, a little bit it, later on really to is, open it up. Yeah. The, the, um, for me, that just, loses the uh, validity of of Wikipedia as a site itself. Exactly. Because soon because enough... Because people like us can see the bullshit. Well, he won't... Soon enough, people... Once it becomes more um, the mainstream knowledge... The censoring things, knowledge, the taking things out of it, when the more, doctoring uh, Wikipedia, left, right and centre on all walks of life. Well, when more people become I'm aware glad you of said, this... I'm glad you said yeah. that because it's fucking true. It is. It's true. When more people become aware of it, Barry, they won't go to it. They'll just surpass well, it. Listen, It'll listen. Get well, hang on a minute. This is this is this is where I'm at now. This is what I did years ago, 
and I'm on my I'm on my own now. You know, I, you know, people can laugh at me coming on here and think, oh, he's talking shit. He's doing this. Well, what are you fucking doing? You know what I mean? I'm sat here. I'm, I, you know, I'm I'm saying it how it is. You know, I don't give a fuck what you a lot think. You know, yeah. you uh, you know, if you've got an opinion about Egypt or all these ancient civilizations, go and have a fucking look yourself then. And you know, and if you're not that stupid, you'll see for yourself and see what I've seen. You know, like no, the normal working man who's not stupid. It's yeah. never been fucking stupid. We know what's going on in the world, don't we? And you only have to go there and have a look for yourself and you'll see what I've seen. You think, shit doesn't add up. Shit does not add up. Well, I'm you've got off the couch and went and seen I've got an adult, yeah, because I've you got... Yeah, yeah, and my mate who I go with as well, by the in mind, he goes down the other route. He, me and him, but he's, I love him to bits, right? He knows who he is, right? Just give him a shout out. No, he, 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 hey, mate, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but he, listen, and he's a good lad. And do you know what pisses me off as well? If he just, if he could break that norm and see what I see, uh, 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 you know, because we're a collective, our minds could be dangerous then. Do you two, do you two, are you two on different poles? Completely different poles. He believes the Egy he believes the Egyptians built the big pyramids from ingenuity and hard work. I look at him and go, you soft cunt. Are you fucking having a laugh or what? Okay then, okay then, replicate it. And he's like, and and he goes and he sends me these little shit videos on YouTube. I'm like, oh mate, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Weird. And, and he's, the thing is, he's dead clever as well, though. Yeah. And I think if he could just, because because when you don't want to see something as well, when you're stuck in your way, a bit like these academic leaders, he doesn't want to see stuff. Mm. And if he did, then my brain could lock with. And I, I yeah. told you again, as a collective, you'd be good. We'd be good together. I'm open-minded, me, buddy. So I always take well, on board I, well, everything I, and then make my own decisions. He is as well, but when it comes to this, he thinks he's, he yeah, he knows, knows it all. all. <laughs> he he's, going to, he's, going to hate, he's going to hate me after this. <laughs> I love him though, but we go all over together. He's a great lad. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, he's a great lad. Um, let's start with the how. How do these stones, pieces of granite, marble, where did these come from? Sorry, buddy. Let's start with the where. Where did they come from? Where did them? Where did them stones come from? Well, in Egypt. Well, there's the, 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 there's, the granite, there's the granite that comes from the Aswan quarry, which is fucking again not an expert. My, probably about five hundred miles away down the Nile. So, and 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 when you go to when if you go, I haven't been there, but my mate has, and he believes that they had these. Uh, they, I think it, I think don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it's diorite. Um, stone balls and they believe they carved these monolithic even though they've got sharp edges that they they, they, they banged them out like um, pounded them out of the ground and it you, you just have to it's, I'm thinking stop just fucking stop <laughs> stop it's madness I'll be and, and listen one of these obelisks right these these stone these, these stones that are left when the cataclysm happened and I'll get to it and all all over the world work, work, masonry is stopped all over the world Right, so you know in Easter Island, mm. you've got the you've got the big heads that are still in motion are getting carved out of the ground. In Egypt, you've got the big monoliths, the the, the um, no the um what you call it, the obelisk, the big square. It's a thousand tons, right? It's still halfway in process of getting cut out the ground. Now, why did that just stop? Why did it stop? Yeah. Now, me looking at the technology, it looks like scoop marks. I don't again, we can't comprehend what's been cutting them out, but it's not been with a laser or anything like that because when people say these things have been cut with laser precision that's because that's the way we know technology but they are cut with laser precision but I'm not saying they were Do cut with, with but I'm not saying they were cut with fucking laser though mm. because it was an ancient advanced organic civilization I seen does that something make, does yeah, that make sense yeah, to you yeah I seen something saying that with the scoop marks they scooped it out where it was starting to crack yeah. they'd scoop it to Scoops. stop the crack carrying on yeah. going right through yeah. the and that's what the they stone. said and that's what they said so let me just get my but head but you know them scoop marks are, they're saying that that, that, that that was used by pounding stones so they had <laughs> However, men, many men, hitting a fucking just every day. It's like no. So let me just get don't my head around. It's like don't insult their intelligence. You know th these people that were building these things. Do you think you'd have a fucking an idiot just sat there pounding the stone all day? No. You know how backward would the have about to be? Let it's me, not right. I can't get my head around this body, right? So I'm gonna move these stones. Right, were coming from a quarry. And this yeah. quarry, yeah. was say five hundred miles, just years. just just, just yeah. say five hundred yeah. mile away, yeah. right? And then they said they float with them on the Nile. Have you seen how shit the boats were in Egypt? How big's one stone, buddy? Give me, give me, oh, give mate, me. Well, there's there's a, there's, a, there's a place in Tanis I haven't been yet, but there's a, there's a, they reckon there's a, there's there's pieces that have been shattered, 
broken into pieces. I haven't been there yet. It's so north of north of um, Egypt, and you can see it's been decimated. There's another thing as well. Um, I'm going off a little bit, but did some of these some of these things, some of these statues that they carved. So they say they carved like one block be of like a thousand tons or whatever yeah mm. and then they start shaping it so that get it get quarried there and they'd move it to wherever and then start shaping it some of these some of these monuments in tanis right which you won't see well it's not really spoken about on mainstream media or, or anything but if you go and have a look it's there mm. and um some of these statues of um gods or egyptians or whatever well i say egyptians because they inherited all this and anyway. yeah um you know they're, they're, they're over a thousand tons each you know maybe more and i'm thinking how 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 did you move that you, you know do you know with what i'm probably going off a no, little, do you know with what you've actually seen buddy i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry it's hard for me no. to get because I've, I've, I've done this before so it's hard it's all for right me. it's all right so i'll go know, off a little bit earlier it's everywhere. all right don't worry yeah. do you know when with the stones you've actually seen buddy yeah, yeah. i've seen Just some massive let's st- let's talk about an average one not the biggest yeah and not the smallest an average stone. An average an average stone would be Inside. going down an average stone would be going down the sixty two with fucking hazard lights on, everything. It would take up all the free fucking lights. Yeah, just give me give me you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, every, everyone would be handy going, What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> just give me give me some sort of um some sort of idea on size. So let's talk about but, but, how big's one wide. Wider than this room, as wide as an house. As wide as a fucking so house. one stone, and, al- and, and also, and also, when you go to uh, when you go to Egypt, there's the um, oh, what do you call it? Can't remember the name of it. Outside where the pyramids are, there's the Sphinx, and there's a, like a temple thing, and there's mm. these big fucking stones. I can't remember the name. I've told you, I'm not an expert, but there's and there's no mortar between these joints, mm. and that you can't even get a, you can't even get a human hair between them. Now they're just they're just all flat and they're all interlocked and they're locked in and it's boxed off, and how how would they cut that with you know it's like <laughs> I'm just trying to get it to go through the process. So they took these stones out of a quarry. Yeah, they've moved these stones five hundred miles yeah. to site on a ship boat on, on a sh- on, on a ship boat. on a boat on a ship boat. Yeah, a ship. Have you seen the boat? Even for, a have you seen cu- have you seen Kufu's boat? <laughs> it's fucking you know. For that, yeah. ti- for that time, because yeah, remember, yeah. like I've said, with the regrouped, huge you know, Kofu, 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 that's was he, he was he a pharaoh? Was he? Was, yeah, 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 leader. And then yeah. they said he was the one who built the Great Giza plateau, but then you know the Great Giza pyramid. But when you have a look, um, you know, mainstream again, that his name is actually on the inside of one of the pyramids. Not that I've seen, but I've seen it on the thing. But it's at the top of the pyramid where it's been reconstructed, where they've took the top mm. off, and he's done a bit of graffiti, and they've gone. That's how we know how he's done it. I'm like, Are you yeah, but you could write. Right? I could fucking write it. Yeah, yeah. If I, yeah. Um, so the move, they reckon he moved these colossal stones by boat, and then they cut them with copper yeah. on site. Yeah, and also, so that's a, so, and they say, and you know, when these blokes who've done it on on um, YouTube. Mm. They've got, they've got, they're either side, they're either side of this stone, by the way, and they're cutting from one, and he's going like this. Now imagine kick, dig it up. So where's, how does that, how does that motion work then when you're going into the ground then in the quarry? You know, or they're moving it. Well, they say, oh, it's pounding stones. I'm like, it just doesn't add up, mate. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's like, it's, it almost insults my intelligence. And I know, I, I know I can't explain myself properly, and I am sorry. Some, you can't. Some but, of them, but, some of them are, um, Really like highly, highly polished, highly shined. Oh. How did he get that polish and that shine? I like? haven't got a fucking clue, mate. I, I can say it, I haven't got a clue. What did he say? It was sand and water. Sand and water, yeah. Sand and water, copper chisels. And you know, th- have you seen the vases? And you know, do you know? Even, even this is a fact, right? You know, the Egyptologists they will tell you. You know, you know the best stonemasonry. You know, the pottery. Mm. They, the best the best pottery is the oldest fucking pottery. Yeah. Not made out of clay, it's made out of single fucking stone. Yeah, the stuff that this, they found, they found like 40 yeah, cars, yeah, not them yeah, in one yeah. place. So you've got vases, and they're literally polished, right, out of one piece of granite. Yeah. You know, solid, it's shined, it's polished. So, so imagine, come on. How? And you know, and you know, you, but you know these, you know, if you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, you're not going to see it. 
And then I've gone down a number of rabbit holes and I've, I've actually listened to like proper stonemasons in the world now. And they say it can't be replicated with, with them tools. It cannot be done. I'm thinking, wake up, listen to what I'm thinking. Can it saying. be replicated with Sorry, tools? Mate. It's okay. Can it be replicated with tools we've got today? By yeah, your yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah, no, it can, yeah, it can. Yeah. Everything, everything can be replicated now with advanced tools. Everything. Everything. How were them? Um, how were them blocks laid? Because like they they brought this fucking massive stone to site. Yeah, let's just say thousands of years ago. So they were bringing them by boat. Get it off the boat. Yeah. Well, with, with ropes. With ropes. <laughs> with, with with ropes and hard work and push and labour and slaves and all the rest so of the shit. So they, they get. Let's just say they get it to site, buddy. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're gonna. This is where we're gonna build now. The footings and the foundation, yeah. everything. Not in. just of one, one, two, three as yeah. well. Let's just talk. Let's, let's just talk about one to put is, in. We, the, let's it, talk about just one then, which is yeah. massive. Yeah, let's just talk about one yeah. to just put and this let, in perspective. Let's forget about all the other shit going on around it. Yeah, as well. yeah, we'll come to that. <laughs> you know so, what I mean? So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a load of shit in it. So they get, so they, they get this to site. <laughs> like, just yeah. let's just say, because yeah. this is what I'm saying. This is the theory in it behind it. And then now they've put this block on site and they've went, right, okay, so... And we'll just get over two million stones, Hang on. just as you do. Let's try and lay another block on top of that one. And as it's getting higher, what were they using? Ropes? Yeah. yeah. On what? Yeah, exactly. Pulleys trying to pull, exactly. pull blocks up like or, that. Or, or whipping a man like a slave. Nah, it's not happening, mate. It's just not... It's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, you know... It's so, not. do you know with the technology that we have today, yeah. how long would you propose and how many men would, it, would you propose it to take to build well, look, I'm not the, great, I'm, the I'm, Great Pyramid? I don't, I don't know, but I know, it's, I know it's a massive job. And, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a massive job. And uh, it's not been replicated. Well, they can't even cut one fucking stone, can they? <gasps> but I mean, you oh, know... Oh, sorry, with the, with the, trying to prove with the ancient past... Listen, I'm saying, you know, you know, no, Baz, I'm talking right. Say you got an absolutely outstanding team of engineers, hundreds, builders, hundreds of men, hundreds Th of men, thousands right. of men. Look, 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 you can have whatever you want. This is what thousands, I'm saying. Thousands of men, even with modern tools. Right, I'm saying, say we turned up tomorrow on yeah. site now, yeah. right, in Egypt, <laughs> and we said, we're going to build another pyramid, yeah. exactly the same, next to it, to mirror it. The same, exactly the same dance. You got the best engineers, the best, the best in technology. You had the greatest tools, the best workmen, everything from start to finish. How long would you propose it to take us I, I to build something like that? I honestly don't like know, that? mate. But I know, it's, I know for a fact it'd be dead hard for. Do you to think? Do. do you think we could achieve the same, um, the same precision and accuracy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I reckon it could be, it, obviously it could be done with time on the side, but I've, I've got no idea how they do it. But And and even if they did, do you know what? It'd be such a hard job. It'd be, it, because it's not just, it's not just the pyramid itself. You know, these pyramids, they, they go in, there's blocks that, it's it's an inward, it's a full construction. And inside that construction, there's, there's fucking galleys and walkways and things and everything. It, it, it's, and then the, geom the geometry of doing it is just off the scale, mate. It's, I've been in there. I've seen it. It's mad. It's, there's no mortar it's, in the joints. No, there's the no mortar in the joints. It's all flush. You can't get... You, there's no, there's nothing you can get in between there. Like, we, we, we use mortar with everything. Or we use steel now, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And these joints, they're like, you know... They're just like that. So do you know where normally And it looks we... like a function. So I've we're... been there, I, I, you know, and, and do you know with these big pyramids as well, you know, the, the ones we're talking about, there's no hieroglyphs in there. There's no hieroglyphs in there. Do you know why? They never, because they never, because the Egyptians they couldn't, them. but no, not only that, because they couldn't fucking get in there to draw inside it. That's why. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. because it was boxed off. It's only as times progressed and we've got cleverer and cleverer. Now we can get in there and we're like, so there's no, so it's all right. So that was a tomb. Well, where's all the fucking hieroglyphs then? All the hieroglyphs are in shit pyramids that I've, mm. that I've, I've been there. There's, there's other pyramids that people don't talk about and don't see. And they're all made of, and they're made of little rocks. They're not flush. It's like, it's like a castle built, but in a pyramid way. And, and, and they've even done uh, step pyramids. Because they can't get, they, they can't, they can't they, achieve because they can't achieve the angle. But they're full of hieroglyphs and you know all the ancient Egyptian shit. Because the Egypt and fair play to them, mate. That was hard work and ingenuity. That was shit that was quarried and 
you know, or, or stolen from but the original. But it doesn't even match up. Every, everything that I've been there and I've seen with Egyptian hieroglyphs, they have all belong to shit masonry. <laughs> And everything that's got the fantastic masonry has got no fucking hieroglyphs in it. And that's a fucking fact. Oh, Jared, that's a fact. Seen it. I've seen it. I've been in there. It's granite. It's big blocks. It, it, it's off the scale. And it's got no hieroglyphs in there. When we build now, say we were building with like your standard bricks now, right? Or block. And, we, and we're putting beds of cement in between them, yeah? Yeah. And it's difficult to, it's not difficult to achieve. No. Um, you know, something straight. But I'm saying if you put brick on brick, it's not very straight. I'm saying with with them putting block on block with no no mortar. If and, there's no and, and, gap, and building up. If there's no gap, it's got to be. It's got to be absolutely precise. fucking mil- precise, and they're building up. So it's like mm-hmm. you know they're gonna get halfway up and go. Oh, this has gone shit. This, this is out. This is 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 and um, and you know you have to look at the geometry. I'm not good with numbers. I've said it before. I'm really not good with numbers. I've got numerical dyslexia. I'm, I'm actually shit with numbers, but. They knew exactly what they were doing. They knew where they were putting it, and it was all to do with the cosmos. They were in tune with every like we're in we're in we're in our house. We've got a roof over our head. Yeah. You know, we're in this fucking system. We go to work and all this. This this world that I'm talking about, an ancient organic civilization, right? Advanced organic civilization was in a different path to what we can even comprehend. I'm telling you, they knew what was going on. They knew about the, the purpose of the earth. They knew about well-being, our spirituality. I believe we've lost all spirituality in the in the in our Modern understanding. Day culture. That's why we're asking questions. They fucking they didn't ask questions. They knew what they were about. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They knew because they'd have to look at the stars and it was giving them answers and they, 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 everything. It's all it's all gone a bit Pete Tong, you know. It's all, <laughs> it's all gone a bit Pete Tong way. It nobody has. Look at it. Look at look around. Look at Look at these fucking mongs out here. Do you it's think like, that we've just took a completely different path? A completely Barry? different path. A completely different path. And like I say, we've gone down, we've got, and we've done really well as well. We've also done really bad as well. Mm. But I can't see anything what they've done bad. When I maybe look, we, we, maybe we, we, we just we, haven't we, seen we, it. And we're so we stuck, haven't seen we're so it. Everybody, we don't we're know. so conditioned and brainwashed in a way and thinking we're so fucking clever. And at the same time, we're living alongside things that could fucking destroy us. You know, I'm, I, and these people that you know who probably watch this and think, "Oh, he's full of shit. He, he don't know what he's talking about or whatever." Well, fuck you, you know, because I've got a different view. And, and you know, wh- where are you? You know, you're just into the system. That's what this show. Uh, this what the podcast are about. Body different people, different opinions. Yeah. Polygonal walls. Talk cool. to me about polygonal Poly- walls. Polygonal walls. They're like, um, well, you know, you know every, you know every big um, pyramid, the, mm. the, the good ones we're talking about. The, yeah. the, you know the ones the real, that are years. The yeah, they were, they were, um, they were cased, which is all gone now. But there's only a few that are left on the on a few of them at the bottom. And polygonal walls is like stone masonry, where it's like toffee. Where if, again, I don't know what technology they use, but it's almost as if like the stones have gone, and just like hot toffee, and they've picked these blocks up and they've like they've got no, they've got no. This is the casing on the on the on the outside of all the pyramids. You can't see it now, but if you went to Egypt, you'd see around the back of some of them that polygonal walls or polygon casing. It's like toffee. They made like the, the the stone out of toffee, and it just cements together without any uh, mortar in between. There's no jerked edges. It's like a so so like even if you've got a wave like that. You know, so again, with copper chisels, mm. they're not just cutting a straight edge. These things are molding into each other. Whatever shape, they, whatever shape, like, um, the, you know, the male and female thing. Yeah. It, it just go, So if it just sort of goes and it all joins and it's like an airtight casing. So then pyramids, they were airtight cased. And these polygonal walls also, so they make walls out of them. You could go to Cusco. I'm going to go to Cusco next year with my mate. Okay. I'm going to go to East of Ireland with my mate next year, hopefully. Or if not, I'll go there the year after. And I'm off to um, um, Peru. They're in Japan. These polygonal walls are everywhere all over the world. But but And the, the, the polygonal walls are also uh, earthquake-proof. When right? you said so, them but, we just, just, but, we, but we've just forgotten that technology. So we've just forgot it. We've yeah. just forgot it. And they also, you know, polygonal walls are all over in uh, Peru, in Cusco, and uh, Machu Picchu. And they say the Inca, the Inca built it all. No, the Inca, again, just like the Egyptians, inherited it. Inherited it. Because 
If the Inca built it, then why isn't it replicated all over the world now? You can see where the Inca have built because you've got all the polygonal walls and the masonry. Anyone can go and have a look now. Sorry, everyone can go and have a look now and type in polygonal walls. Go and have a look for yourself and see it. I've had, I've done a bit of yeah. research. Go and it's have a like look lots of little yeah. tiny hexagons yeah. and all, all and it together. all just joins together. It's like it's a honeycomb. Like, it's almost as if, it's like a honeycomb. It's almost as if like the stones have been heated up and literally been like liquid and gone. And and, and also and then you can see where the ink have come along. You can see they've built their shit walls on top of it all. Yeah, because all the masonry shit. Just you know, and the, the, you know they, they say the Inca was like fifteen in, in the years of like fifteen fifteen hundred, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay. So everything in the world was global, right? So the polygonal walls are all over the world. So why didn't the Romans then build fucking polygonal walls then, or the Greeks? Because they were the two advanced civilizations after the, the Inca. After the Inca, or no, even before, like say after Christ, right? Yeah? Okay. Around that sort of time. So. This 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 fucking bulletproof Freemasonry that's been going on. Why haven't we? Why don't we still build it now then? And you know what? They look and these stones. Some of them are as big as houses, right? And some of them aren't, and they just click together, right? So why don't we? Uh, why don't we still replicate it now then? Because it was earthquake proof. It's the best masonry you can do in the world. And they say, oh well, the stones are too big. All right then, we'll do little polygonal walls then. Go on, with your little copper and chisels then. Do it now. <laughs> and build a fucking house because you know because you can't pick them all and get the labour. Put these little stones together. You can't, can you? Do you know when you said to me, Bobby, and I'm that... talking about something that people don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I'm telling you, go and have a look. Type in polygonal walls. Go and have a look for yourself. And, uh, you, and like I say, in Egypt, the pyramids they were cased. The outer casing of the pyramids. Wait, that's where it was coming to. It was polygon. Where's it fucking gone then, buddy? It was it is, well, like, well, 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 listen, no, because Why is it not there no Because Cairo was built on... Because all the Cairo was built from the stone from the pyramids. They pyramids were even bigger. They've been come down. They've come down like that. Right. They, all the all they've been raided. They've been fucking. So raided. do you think they've broken? They no, broke I know. The polygon all away. Yeah, broke it away and used it and build houses in the modern time. Cairo's built from all the shit on the pyramids. All it's been raided. Let, honestly, let me just get no, listen, that sink honestly, in. Honestly, because we had a drive there, Mohammed or whatever he was called. We'll all call Mohammed, aren't they? But we went there, and uh, sorry, yeah, uh, <laughs> so like, no, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah anyway, yeah, anyway yeah. and and he said like, yeah, uh, Cairo was basically built from the Giza Plateau. Yeah. So, uh, you know, again, modern times coming along, and they're getting the stones. They don't even need to quarry them from fucking nowhere. Just take the rocks off, and they've built the ha Cairo's built from the rocks from Giza from the Giza Plateau. That's a fact. That's unbelievable. That's a, that's a fact. And when you go round, when you go round Cairo, you can see that all the buildings are made of the same fucking stone. Mm. You know. Yeah. You've been inside, haven't you, buddy? I've been inside. Yeah. I was, I I seen some I was video. a big fat cunt. I was. I mean, I've lost a bit of weight now, but <laughs> fucking hell, I, I, I was a workout going in and out of there. I've seen some videos of oh, you in there. Mate. Tall, skinny, like mad staircases yeah. with like. Oh man! Do you think if there was no? No, but listen. See the stairs and the banisters listen, listen, and that. Listen, they've been added, haven't they? Listen, that, that yeah, that's not original. They're they 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 they're ways that we've made. How the fuck did so, they get so about this? Is what I'm saying again. So you know me going back to saying about there's no hieroglyphs inside there yeah. because because when the Egyptians come around, these things had polygonal casing around them. It was boxed. Them pyramids were fucking boxed off. Whoever made them signed it off and went. That's it. <laughs> they're done. They're done. They're done. You're not getting in there. That's done. Yeah. And over time, we've been to get. So them them stairways that I've been in, that's man-made from from the present time. From going back to the 1800s, Jack, because I've done my research. Going back to the 1800s when people were inquisitive like myself, yeah, and having a look. You know, but um, could you educate me about it? You know, when you said when they I can't educate, I could try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. probably I'm like a, a lot rambler. of people, a lot I'm of people are trying. I'm <laughs> rambling, aren't I? I'm no. rambling. Do you know when? Do you know when you said <laughs> they finished it and they said right, that's that fucking boxed off. Could you not get access into a pyramid at that point? Could you not walk inside one? No, no, no. Was, you, well, was it designed another, like here's that? Here's another thing. Here's another thing. You know the official. You know in the Giza plot. You know in the the Great Pyramid of Giza. Again, I don't know why or what or not or what. The actual. Do you know NASA own the rights to the actual entrance of the of the pyramid? I don't know why. 
I want to find out. This is the shit that yeah. blows my yeah. mind. And I want, on what merits on what, did they own? Yeah, exactly. On why, why would they? they? This is, again, so what's going on there? What do they know? And what they ever know? Do you listen, NASA, if, if they knew something that I don't know fundamentally, they can't say what they know. Do you know why? Because it goes against fucking religion. Again, going back to what I said. Do you think beginning. it is religious, Barry? It's yeah. got to be religious. Because, because, because... You know, the, the, our religion or the world we, we, we live in now that we've been fucking pushed, it goes back to 6,000 years ago, doesn't it? The book's got to stop there, hasn't it? Mm. Hasn't it? But you know what blows my no, mind, buddy? It has, it has. And so there I, you go. I'm just saying, like... Why does NASA own the rights Religion's that? just a form of control, and sometimes I feel like it's just being pushed upon the masses to, to keep them where they are. But I feel like a lot of people now in the modern day a fallen out of religion. A lot of people are. So, you know, it's going to get lost over time. Um, I think there'll always be religion, but it's more in the foreign culture than it is um, for ourselves. Like, there's not as many... Well, they're still fucking living in mud huts and everything, aren't they? They're, mm. they're, you know, so this is... Um, they don't really know what's going... They're not, they're not awake yet, are they? When you were inside, Barry... It was hot in there as well. Was it? And I'm a fat cunt as well. So was it dark? It was dark, mate. It was sweaty. It was hot. How would you suspect he lit them up? What do you mean? Inside now, after you got lights on to keep... To, to oh, yeah, they, yeah, they, to yeah, they've run... They've run they've there's run, obviously no fucking yeah, windows, yeah, yeah, is they, there? Yeah, they've run electricity through there. But you know, back they, then, how did you light it up? Well, you wasn't... You, this is the point. It was cased off. You wasn't supposed... It's not supposed to be for men to be inside Right, it. we're going to come to that in a minute. That's the point. The, all right, we're going to come to that. It's a function. Okay, a function. yeah, we're going to come to that. <laughs> so, the box in Lahoon, it's a perfect square. So the box in Lahoon, yeah. it's a perfect square, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They said it was like a 100-ton box, yeah. 70 tons the base, and 30 tons for the lid. But this box was... It, 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 on it was yeah, it's it, it's one box that's being carved from the inside out. Yeah. So it's one big but, stone. But the if you go to the Serapium, where we went, me and me mate went, um, I don't know where you were, I haven't been to Lahoon, I haven't been there. Yeah. But I've been to the Serapium. Yeah. I don't know if that's the same thing. I'd yeah, say I I'm think not, it is. I think I, it's I'd all say the same thing. I'm not an thing. expert. I'll, I'll say it again. I've been there and I've had a look for myself and this is underground. Yeah, I mean, these this is the massive same box. granite box that are over. Yeah, they, you know they weigh more than they weigh more than a fucking jumbo jet. Right? Yeah, there's about, I, don't quote me. There's about twenty. I think there's about twenty of them. Yeah, and again, if you looked up from above, it looks like a circuit board. Now, again, it's a it's a it's a it's a route that we can't even comprehend. We can't even begin to understand what the fuck they were doing because they were doing it for some reason. But mainstream will tell you. That they were worshipping bulls and they were bulls well, coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yes. fuck this off. Is, we're talking I'm about like, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so and I've been there. Now, listen, I've, buddy. I've been this, there. Is, this is where this being. And have you seen I need this to shit ask you I'm, about this. I need to just ask you about this. I, I've, I've done a video. See, I'll put these, it on me for, see these boxes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They weren't, they were, for anyone watching, they, they never put them together, never bolted them or sealed them. It weren't like sides and the top. It was one piece of stone and they drilled it out, didn't they? They, they, they somehow they, carved, they, they, they out, carved one out the one piece. Not but just that moved. Is, so, so, so they said that they were maybe coffins for animals, for bulls or something <laughs> yeah. like that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah. what I'm saying is, <laughs> they say, don't they? Like, <laughs> it was a perfect square. It was within like, Tenth of an inch, absolutely spot on all sides, top, bottom, and side. But this, yeah, pretty much some of them aren't spot on because I've been there yeah. myself, so I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, a lot of people who push it, you know, the narrative what I'm trying to push. Yeah, a lot of people will say they are totally perfect. No, 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 I've got to be honest. Some of them have even, it seems like they've had chips away, but they're still polished off. But the Egyptians have still come along and put their shit hieroglyphs along the side of them. Do you know the way they've got that, like, square inside yeah. and all that? Yeah, my like, mate jumped in it. He's a little cunt, and he fucking he was uh, in there. <laughs> oh, he went, get in here. I went, fuck, what is it? I, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> you fat ass going like that. Oh, get in here. <laughs> For yeah. me, though, you've got to look at position to functionality. It's exactly. like, there's got to be a reason. Why they were there. Well, why would you have it that precise? Uh, listen, if I was going to do something to put a bull in a box or to put even you in a box, yeah. a, a family member, you know, you wouldn't go to those extremes to just put I something know. in it. I know. It's got to be a purpose. And, all, and, all, and also, one of them is left as if it was in motion of um, transit. 
Again, so like I say, 12,000 years ago, bang, the impact, and things just fucking stopped. There's one of them there. Now, okay, so where's the rollers underneath? Where's, where's, where's the organic material then, yeah? Where's the organic, where's the organic, you know, because we see organic material as like, you know, like wood and stuff. We can yeah, carbon yeah. date, so we can carbon date that. So they say stuff was rolled on rollers. All right, then where's the wood underneath this fucking rock then that's not being finished? I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm sorry if people don't understand exactly what I'm going on about. No, I know what you're I've saying. Seen the they tried to... these, they've tried to say, well, they rolled them in. Okay, then. Well, the one that's unfinished then, where's the fucking wood underneath it then? Yeah. It's not fucking there. And where's the soot? Because it's pitch black under there. If you had no electricity under there... That's what I was going to say. The so, if they, so if they had, uh, you know, um, light... Which they did at that time. So let's go back five. Let's go back four, five, six thousand years ago. Yeah? yeah, they had fucking fire, didn't they? Yeah. Where's the soot on the ceiling? There's no soot on the ceiling from the fire. Mm. Yeah. So would they just work? With, with, did they have fucking night vision then, or what? You know, these ancient fucking man using copper chisels. <laughs> yeah. You know, with it, well, were, were they, were they that around. clever? They could see different to me and you. Yeah. You know, bullshit again. And these these stones are massive, and you've got to understand how hard this stone is. And it's shiny polished. And on every one of them, go and have a look now. It's called the Serapium, yeah? Go and have a look. The Serapium. You won't. You probably won't have heard of it. It's called the Serapium. And then have a look at the uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs, yeah? Mm. And the hieroglyphs are fucking shit. No disrespect to them at that time, because of, like I said, we regrouped. We were put mm. back in the Stone Age a yeah. long time ago, and then we had to regroup again. What do you think the hieroglyphs represent? I haven't got a clue, mate. I, I, I really don't know. Do you know. think it was a language? No, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't, don't know. know. Yeah, yeah, clearly clearly a language, but a language we don't know. Yeah. But a language that they were trying to replicate. And also, you know, we did I say about Tanis earlier? You know Tanis, which was in northern Egypt. Yeah. Right. You know the you know the big um, the big statues that like, like everything in Egypt that's above ground, mm -hmm. right? In this modern day, it's got hieroglyphs on it. The stuff that we're uncovering now, right now, which has been buried for fucking thousands of years, proven has got no fucking hieroglyphs on it. Yeah. So there's no hieroglyphs on it. Do you know why? Because the Egyptians didn't, didn't fucking see it, it. Yeah, and they didn't see it, it, so they went around from the fucking drawer right. in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. So again, so where's this add up? You know, it doesn't. It doesn't add up, does For it? For me, it but look, And again, like, I'm not an expert, but you know, that's just common fucking... In our, in our just... society today, buddy, yeah. The only time, back to when I was saying about the therapy and we were talking about the boxers, the only time we <coughs> went to them extremes of, of precision is yeah. for functionality. Yeah. is to try and get something really, really fucking precise is because it needs to be that precise for a use, for a purpose. Exactly. So there's exactly. a reason behind exactly. why they wanted everything so exactly. spot on. Exactly. And, and you can also see when you go to Egypt, you can see why, you know, when they've got the, you know, the actual tombs. Yeah. Because there is tombs there and you can see the difference in the fucking, um, in the masonry. Uh, God bless them. They were really good at what they did. Yeah. But it's it's starting it's, on that level. It's, it's got not it's, it ain't got a patch on the stuff. The other stuff. The other stuff. You know, and they're trying to replicate it. And got like I say, they've done really well. What were the pyramids for? What um, did they say in main scene? I, it's a I, I believe in some. I, I, again, I'm not I'm not an expert, but I truly believe there was some sort of use of a an en energy energy harnessing the world. Like you know, if you could tap into that, you know, you could change the fucking world. Someone wrote a book saying they were on energy. I don't know who that yeah, person Chris was. Dunn. Chris Dunn. Was it Chris Dunn? Chris Dunn. And that was another theory that it was chemical as well. I've, I've got a friend of mine. He knows who he is as well. And he's, he goes, he's gone down another rabbit hole. Me and him have come together. I'm not going to mention his name, but um, and we talk about it. Now, he's really intelligent. And he's, he knows about ancient, there's a, there's a myth, uh, there's Kemet, the ancient Kemet that were before the Egyptians. And they were into alchemy and chemistry. And if you actually, there's people that have gone in there and done samples and stuff. There is chemicals inside the fucking pyramids. If that, you that's a, that. Listen, that's a fact. That's a fact. But again, it's just unexplained. So, because Khufu built it and it was a tomb, that's the end of it. They said it was a tomb, weren't it? Basically, so to a, lay it to rest. So that's the end of it. Yeah, that's the end of it. But now there's people like me in a different way and going down different avenues and they're collecting samples and there's fucking chemicals in there. 
So well, Barry, Kevin, let me just let me just fucking that's get a fact. into, into that's my a mind. Fa- I just say that's a fact. Yeah. There is chemicals that have been taken out of there. I'm not a scientist, not even, ever will be, but they have, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's chemicals in there, and 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 you know traces of things that we can't even comprehend. When you say it was, you know, it was Khufu and it was a tube, basically. Mainstream education saying these pyramids were built to lay people to rest. Period. <laughs> is that what? Is that what you're There's saying? There's never been a body found in any of them. Yeah. For, for, if I had to say to you, Barry, now asking you as a person, if you had to put knowledge to reason, if I asked you, Barry, what were them pyramids for? Um, a function of an energy source. A function that week again. What type got, of energy? I don't know. Maybe power, a, 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 electricity. Oh, power, power, or electric, electricity. Yeah, I think there was a, a maybe harnessing the Earth's magnetic field yeah. in a way again because it was organic. Because these people understood the Earth, they understood the Earth. So in a way, like I say, in a way that we can't even begin to comprehend because we don't know. Just like I said earlier, I think I said earlier in the podcast. Yeah, just say if we all got wiped out now, right? And then people regrouped, but there was a myth about a helicopter, right? How do you be, uh, so this, there's this story about helicopters and planes, right? We're all survivors now, 6,000 years ago. We all get wiped out now, yeah, there's a few together. But there's a story about helicopters and these things. How would you build a helicopter? Yeah, what was it for? Know. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't fucking know. know. One person will know. Now, a few people could get together and try and start thinking again because we're a collective. Mm. And this is what the pyramids were about years ago. So, again, it's something you can't fucking... Does that, does that make sense yeah. to you, Jack? How far behind them do you think we are, buddy, now? I know this well, is very we're, confusing. Well, we're in front and behind. We're, in f- we're all over the place, aren't we? Mm. We're, we, they knew something we didn't we, know. Yeah, we know we, stuff they, they didn't well, like know. Well, like you said, how far behind are we? I think we're massively, massively, massively far behind and massively far in front at the same time because we've gone a different route. We don't know a purpose, so either. You know, look at the state of us. You know, it's <laughs> fucking hell. Look at us. It's a fucking joke, mate. What's yeah, but these people, these people they could have been the same, buddy. Nah, How the fuck I don't do you know because that, they, that they, they didn't know the fuck they were. Because, because they I've were gone doing. down another, I don't want to go too far down now, but I've gone down another road, but they were all on psychedelics as well at that time as well. You know, the fucking, they, they were all, they were all, they, 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 they tapped into a different realm at that time. And I believe it was universal around the world. I don't want to go on about it today, but I truly believe Going from what I've looked what, at. What, like mushrooms, mushrooms, DMT. DMT, ayahuasca, everything. You know, I know ayahuasca was in South America. I truly believe they were in they were in tune with a spiritual connection. And this has gone on uh, and this has grown and grown and grown. Like there's even stories in South America where before the baby touched its mother's milk, it had a drop of ayahuasca, which is a psychedelic. So you imagine an advanced civilization going on for thousands of years. You know, keep going on psychedelics and then you've got fucking things left all over the world that we don't know how the fuck they made them do you know what I mean no seriously just, I know it's no, a ser- fucking mind listen, but that's I'm something, but listen, that that's what something I can't you know I don't really uh, no. but, but I've tapped into it well, listen, do you and know it's, plausi- it's, pl- it's plausible thing, it's plausible the thing is we're all just terrorists there's nobody yeah. who fucking knows because yeah. none of us would, yeah. Yeah, apart nobody. from these cunts that are fucking t- in, in, you know, in, in positions in of power. In the Ivory Tower. Yeah, in the Ivory Tower, fucking, you know, getting the rent boy in and all that, you know. What, what, <laughs> what, what the fucking buddy. weirdos, aren't they? Yeah. What happened? What's your theory of our true history? What do you propose came before us and who? Well, obviously the dinosaurs come before us. Yeah. And I believe everything is on a cycle. I believe it. Uh, I just believe I, in I, terms of in terms of I believe, cataclysms. I believe it's our fi- uh, like I say. Oh, I can't prove this. I don't want to go. Think it's our fifth time I mean, round. I, I, from from the rabbit hole I've gone down, you know, I, 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 my own head's a conspiracy anyway. You know, but, <laughs> yeah. You know, but that's because I'm. I, I want to ask questions. I want. I look at things and I. Uh, I just don't believe everything we've been told. Like you know, when I, I, I do believe it's probably our fourth or fifth rodeo. Okay, in terms of look, look at the look what I said to you. Go and have a look yourself. Now, humans have been found to be living up to now nine hundred thousand years ago. It's, it, our timeline's not years, linear. Years, 
it was only a few years ago. It was our timeline was two hundred thousand years ago. Yeah. Then it was four hundred thousand years. It keeps getting older and older and older. It's and definitely old. not linear. It's been broken a hundred percent because so so, so so anatomic humans then nine hundred thousand years ago the same as me and you they weren't fucking stupid then were they? No. There's not, there's a break, there's, Barry. There's, there's a, a break definitely. Um, there's pieces of our history missing, yeah. isn't and there? Even even in the modern time after BC, they call things the Dark Ages as well. Do you know what the Dark Ages means? By archaeologists or academics of history, it means they didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they just call it the Dark Age. So again, something has happened again. Even this is even in modern this time in two thousand years, they call the Dark Age because shit has happened that they, they wanna, don't know that they don't know because maybe something happened and they go, oh, that's the Dark Ages. And yeah. it's just easy. It's a fucking cop They say it in school. Yeah, so that like, was the Dark Ages. I'm like, fuck. And everyone goes, okay, that was a Dark... So everyone was doing this and then we all got thick again. I'm like, nah, fuck yeah. off. You know, but it's easy for them because they because scientists, they need absolute fucking evidence, don't yeah. they? Yeah. But we need to start changing the way we think about things and doing things and... These hypotheses, they need to be addressed because it's not, I'm not, I'm, I can't accept just the dark ages. There's definitely stuff missing, buddy. I know there is. Missing. I was watching Randall Carson talking oh, about the younger brilliant. Dryas and he was talking about maps and map dating and there are maps from certain areas with data on them, from certain areas, sorry, with data on them and then later more new and modern maps. That data is like missing. So I don't want to like quote myself on times, but it'd be like, say, the 1700s, there'd be a map and say the fucking Amazon now rainforest would be on it. Oh, oh, and then oh, in the 1800s, it's not there. And yeah. in the 1900s, it's yeah. back again. And, and it, so how did the people in the 1700s know that that was there? Exactly. And then it disappeared. Do you know why? Because it was fucking there. Yeah. And, they, and they record it. But and again, then something's happened. Again, there's been a cataclysm. Yeah, there's been a, or, or things have happened or disease has come along. I mean, this is, this is more modern. This time's more modern, but... Sorry, but things have happened. You know, I mean, look at now. They're going over the Amazon rainforest, right? Mm. Or, you know, the Ecuadorian forest or anything. And now, because we've got technology, we're using LADAR. Yeah. And again, I've gone down rabbit holes. These are, these are actual facts. This is not my theory. These are facts. But no one's putting money into it. No one wants to, no one wants to put their name forward, right? And go, look at this fucking shit we're seeing here. Like, there is ancient fucking cities in the Amazon basin. Do you think there's, there's, there's parts of the modern day world that we have undiscovered as, as a human race? One, well, Atlantis, for starters. Atlantis, I truly believe Atlantis was, I truly believe Atlantis was here about. Because, I, you know, again, if you're an expert, go and have a look or you think you disagree with me, don't just fucking laugh. And you know, think, yeah. oh, he's full of shit or whatever. Go and have a fucking look yourself. Yeah. And you go and have a look and see yourself and don't believe everything you're told because I truly believe At Atlantis was around. You know, because it's like, here's an analogy. You know, like modern Christianity, they mm. say, uh, you know, this is this is the way it is and God was God and this, and that. that's 2000, whatever BC. Now, the ancient Greek civilization lasted for 5,000 years, didn't it? Yeah. So the world we live in now is 2000. You know, yeah, AD, to eight two thousand or AD. AD. Now the Greeks live for, which isn't megalithic, by the way. The, it's not as old as what I'm talking about. But so that lived for five thousand years. Yeah. What do they teach in schools? It's ancient Greek mythology. <laughs> So, so let's just fucking scrap that up and fuck that off, yeah. And let's, start again. Let's start again. So. Fucking bullshit again. There yeah. you go. That is, don't insult my intelligence, yeah. mate, because that's fucking bullshit. And that lasted longer than fucking the shit we're being spread now. So am, it was am twice I, as long? Twice, if that was 5,000 yeah, years and we're 2,000 years listen, in. Listen, that's a fact. Ancient Greek mythology is 5,000 years old, yeah? So it's twice our, twice twice our, our history. But it's called mythology. So they'll teach that in fucking schools. It's ancient Greek mythology, Yeah. Fuck off. Well, if it was if if, if that was five thousand years shit. old, buddy, they'd be twice as advanced as we are now yeah. today. And that's just on that timeline alone. Yeah. So if it goes back that many thousand, ninety thousand years, we'd be we'd be light years ahead well, of like where I we said, are. Listen, the ancient Greeks, though, that that, that is like I truly believe their their you know the mythology is recorded and mm -hmm. everything that happened there is true. The building work is true because it's just as shit as ours with the stones because mm -hmm. they regrouped after the cataclysm. 
the stuff I'm going on about, like the ancient Egyptian was shit, prior to was that. Was prior to that, and all these polygonal walls all over the world. You know, so so say like the ancient Greeks. Why don't they build polygonal walls then? Because it was universal around the world. Yeah. Oh, they didn't why didn't fucking why, have a clue? Why, why didn't the Romans build? Why didn't the Romans have that technology then? Listen, why didn't the Romans then? They never had a clue because they never had a clue. Even though they were really good at what they did, yeah, they were fucking amazing. But they didn't have polygonal because they were on a different I'm avenue. So, yeah, because they went a different avenue. Because this is the modern world. Six thousand. Let's 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 stop the book at six thousand years ago. Yeah, so. Greeks and Romans, it all goes back to 6,000 years, doesn't it? Yeah. Because that's the when the world was created. Yeah. In religion. Is mm. it or is it not? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So why didn't they use polygonal walls? And if you don't know, again, what is on about polygonal walls or polygonal masonry, go and have a look at polygonal masonry. Why isn't it replicated? When it was replicated all over the fucking world. Because it was it, lost. Because it was lost. Because there was a fucking impact and everyone was put back into the Stone Age. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Peru, Colombia. You went to a place called Puma Punku to see the ruins yourself in yeah. person. Walk me through the whole experience, buddy. Oh, fucking hell. Well, again, because I'm a weirdo and I've got a, uh, <laughs> I've got a passion for this shit. You know, it keep, <laughs> keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> it keeps me out of trouble. I'm sat there, so fucking, you know, I'm sat in the house or whatever. I'm on my iPad. I'm searching stuff and just following my own little path. I'm not a scientist by no means, as you know. I'm not an archaeologist. I just see shit that doesn't add up. And I saw stuff that's going on in Puma Punku in Bolivia. I thought, I need to go there as well. I said to my missus, she went, you're not off to Bolivia. Oh, I fucking am. She went, no, you're not. I went, oh, Laura, I'm off to Bolivia. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I ended up getting me mate. He likes all this. It's the same mate. And we went to Bolivia and, uh, pff, wow, what an eye opener that was, mate. Fucking hell. I don't really, I don't really know where to begin with that one. Begin. Tell yeah. me, tell me about it. It looked fucking rough where you were. Oh, it was you rough. Yeah, well, well, me and my mate. Your phone well. went missing. Or yeah, I got, I got robbed when I was out there. Yeah, we went to, well, the thing is with me and my mate as well. When we go, everywhere we go, we always say like, you know, you find out where's the roughest area because we're fucking idiots. Like, yeah. Well, where's the Wolfie Saviour? Oh, it's over there. Oh, well, we'll go there then. So yeah, you want to go and see oh, it? Oh, yeah, I want to go and see it. I don't want to see it on the TV. I want to, I've been everywhere with him. You know, yeah, where, yeah. wherever's rough, we we'll go, yeah. Because I don't give a fuck. I'm yeah, not, you I'm just want to go. I actually get find a bit of an adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I buzz off it's it. It's a kick, yeah. I, yeah, I buzz off it, like, yeah. So, uh, so we went to El Alto. I'm not going to go into loads of detail on that, but I got fucking robbed and they took my phone off me. Did they? Like, fuck you. Did he physically take yeah, it yeah, off your body? Yeah, he took my phone off me, yeah. Yeah. He was with me. I was like, "Fuck you!" He he was he was worried then I was going to turn into a Neanderthal because uh, I normally go a bit mad. Like, uh, did he with the with the arm? Like, or did he nah, just? Yeah, it, 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 it was one. I don't want to talk about it. Too All much, right, but they they took me for anyway. Basically, had me fucking pants down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Fucking here you go. <laughs> fucking soft ass here. Like, <laughs> so go on. You, so so now you've got no fucking phone. Got no fucking. And you're anyway, so long story short, no, we went there. I went back to the place where we phoned up the next day to like a big fuck you. I'm not bothered. Yeah, yeah. But it's rough as fuck, mate. Honestly, was they, it? They look at you, mate, and they look at you in the eyes, and the eyes are black, mate. They look at they're like, <laughs> fuck over there, mate. Yeah. You yeah. think you've got it bad round here? Anyway. <laughs> mate, like, my, my, my dad said because my dad grew up in the tenements of Air Metal Gardens you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he said the dogs have got hard hats on you know? <laughs> he said and, uh, and we went to Bolivia and the dogs had hard hats on <laughs> I'm telling you mate throw stones at them mate and bounce off <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you mate hey, rough as fuck mate rough as fuck all part of the experience. It looked insane. There was cable yeah. cars. Oh, mate, yeah. Well, like, well their, 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 their transport, because it's so, uh, I mean, when I, first, when I first got there as well, it was like nearly 5,000 metres above sea level. Mm. My mate, he's like a little ninja. He's a fucking cunt he is, right? He's, yeah. always, he's, always, he's bulletproof to everything. He was like, oh, I'll be all right. He went, you'll be all right. I got there. I got fucking altitude sickness. So on my first night, I was late uh, onto bed. Honestly, mate, I was crawling to the toilet spewing. Wow. Honestly, mate, the if you if you ever go to Bolivia, go to La Paz, and I'll tell you, it'll fucking drop you to your knees. Was you know, it tough there, buddy? Tough. And I've always thought, I thought, you know, if I was a millionaire or anything like that, yeah. I was off, if you was into combat sport, that's where you'd be going. That's where you'd fucking live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you want to really up your game <laughs> to another level that you can't even comprehend, go and live in the Bolivia, La Paz. Because their their cardio is on a fucking. I seen. It I'm was telling you, so mate, hilly, mate. The whole the whole the whole city is built in a mountain range. We're you're talking in the Andes Mountains, right? And as soon, honestly, I'm not lying to you. When we got off the plane, 
blah, blah, blah. I went down to think, uh, probably took about 100 metres and I felt lightheaded. I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God, mate. And I, you know, I don't even know anyone that's been to La Paz. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen them on the TV, TV but I don't but know yeah, anyone. Personally, I, yeah. I don't personally know anyone that's been to La Paz. Me and him went, because obviously very yeah, interesting. Yeah, he wanted to. But we went there and uh, the, the, uh, the fucking hell, the, the altitude took me away, mate. I was fucking done, mate. See, and he I, was walking up steps and I was like, oh, oh fuck it. Yeah, like and that. again, he's like a ninja. He was in, he's I was running about, up Yeah, them, he, was, he was up there, mate. Fucking <laughs> hell. It was hard work, mate. Yeah. Everywhere you go was like that. Looked insane. Yeah. So, Puma Punku, tell me a little bit about it. So, Puma Punku, again, just, you know, my curiosity, just like Egypt, um, I looked at things and I thought, that doesn't add up. You know, what's going on here? Like, you know, these fucking, uh, again, from copper chisels and all, so-called copper chisels and, you know, the, uh, the the quarry, which is miles away from the top of a volcano. Mm -hmm. You know, so how are you going to get that down on bowlers? You know, from, you know, it, it doesn't add up. So I, went, I thought, I need to go there and have a look. And obviously uh, the statues that are there, they've got the bearded man, mm -hmm. right? Now, in any... And it, any sort of culture that's supposedly the people that have built it in this in the presentest time, BC, mm -hmm. there's no bearded man in the Amazon or not in the Amazon in in South America as yeah. a whole. There's no bearded man, right? Right, okay. Right. You know, you go to Brazil anywhere. There's no ancient man that's got a fucking beard. <laughs> there's not. Yeah. But these fucking statues in Puma Punku have all got a fucking beards. Yeah. So I'm thinking again, what's going on here? So again, lights up again. Blah, 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 blah. And anyway, so we're there in Puma Punku, looking at all this shit. Laser precision, even though it's not laser. I don't know how they cut it. Cut it. I don't know how they cut it. And the thing is, and all, they started on earthing, right? Ground, which is apparently when the ink was around, was always underground. Now they've started on earthing it. And what's under, what's under the ground? Polygonal masonry again. That only now we're seeing with our own eyes that they never saw when they was around. Could you connect them timelines? 100%. 100%. So we're going back again, 12,000 years ago again. Yeah. I'm sorry if people don't really understand what I'm on about, because I do come a bit, a bit no. sporadic. But, you know, no, but I'm, the, just so, so I'm, just a, I'm just a normal right. man trying to tell a story. Was it the Inca? No. 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 Right. No. So what I'm saying to you, Barry, is you believe... That this civilization, me and you were talking global, about, right, right, global, global, global. This is where it was going to come global. to. It, you believe that was from a similar time scale. They were building pyramids in Egypt at a similar time scale. These were doing these builds yeah. in Peru, yeah, and because, Easter Island, and in Japan, yeah, and fucking, because, because and, they're using and, the same methods. Listen, listen, and in England, Stonehenge, yeah. again. You ask anybody, look at them in the eye, right, and say, how the fuck did they build them then, yeah? They can't fucking answer you because it's the same fucking thing again because it's 12,000 years ago in an advanced organic civilization. You could get these men on YouTube doing these shit little videos and they, they don't add up, mate. Is it, cause it, it just doesn't... No, because I, di I didn't put them two timelines together. It's only now you, I've got your own sitting yeah. here because I was thinking the two you completely different things, but now I get what you're saying. It's you they know, were it's onto a, the same they fucking thing. All, all, onto, all, onto all, all onto the same yeah. thing all around the world. And then something happened and then something happened and then, and then we got put back into the stone age and then civilization start and then again. we had to start again and that's that thing where i keep going on about the helicopter just as picking it out there and i do apologize if people no, don't yeah no cause, you know cause I'm, I'm, with I, your body. I'm just a normal man i am de dead normal man you know you asked me to come on i know here. It's, you I, asked me to come I, on I, here. I called you out i, I thought, asked you you know what's he want me you've come here though haven't you you know yeah. so the correlation does is there a correlation between water and megalithic builds because I was looking into something, mean? he was saying there's a lot of water around. Anytime you see them type of yeah, builds. there is. But I, again, I don't know. I you don't, don't know. know. But but listen, if people started joining on board with me, and they'd have a different input, but on the you same could, way as a collective, we could, could start fucking it, thinking because yeah. we start bouncing off each other. Well, if we just shut the door and go there, nah, six thousand years ago, mm. then it just it just stops it. Yeah, that's fucking. But it's wrong. 
No, these, no. These, they need to know these answers. Our past is very more complex than what we think or what we know. A lot of people don't even want to fucking look back at it, Barry. A lot of people don't. Well, a lot of people are fucking sat in their house fucking watching X Factor and all this you know, shit on the TV. Do you know what the stuff? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or oh, when's Love Island on, you yeah. fucking knobhead? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> He'll come no, to but that. that, that's all part of the shit they want you to well, know. We'll come to that in a minute. You, no, because let me finish, because they don't want you to know what we no, know. They don't, they they don't, don't want you to don't want they you don't want you to know what you know. All they want you to do is think like an employee and do as you're fucking told. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna get there. So, when you were in La Paz, Bolivia, you know when you were saying about the faces carved out of the stone, buddy, yeah. was the was it was that be a stone and they chiseled away at it to make a face? Yeah, it's a lot of work, Every, isn't it? Yeah, with copper chisels. Nah, nah, um, and also you can see when uh, like six thousand, you know. After Christ, let me let me use the time scale of Christ, where the Inca have come along, mm. you know, because the Inca weren't supposedly. There's no recorded. There's no general uh, consensus of uh, who was around Pumapunku or around Tiwanaku at that time. Mm. I believe it was the Inca. Was T- is Pumapunku in Tiwanaku? Uh, Pumapunku, yeah, in Tiwanaku. Yeah. Is Tiwanaku vast, Baz? No, it's, it, it, there's a lot underground. And I know there's a lot, of, and even scientists have said there's a lot underground, but they won't dig it up. I don't know. Same as Egypt. There's so much shit everywhere. They just won't touch it. Who are the no men? Who come along and say, no, you can't I fucking don't, do that? It's some shitbag, innit? It's just some fucking <laughs> shitbag. I'll fucking just take his teeth out if I could. Do you know what I mean? Just a shitbag. No, listen, because this is what needs to happen to them. They're just shitbags, aren't they? They're like, no, you're not taking the fuck off you, you no know, man. You know, okay. no, come on. I'm going to um, delve into a completely different topic. But yeah. it's, it's right, though. But like I say, I'm not an expert on Puma Punk Group, but I've been there and the, the, the best masonry is the stuff that's only just being unearthed from the ground, right? And, you know, it's, it's majestic. It, it, would it's you? majestic. It's majestic, mate. And I, I love it, mate. It keeps me down a rabbit hole. I'm there. I'm into it. You know, have an opinion, whatever you want, but don't come to me. Don't, don't go come and to see me. it go, for yourself. Go and fucking see it for yourself. Yeah, and, and then, then tell me. And then tell me how to do it or show me someone that's replicated it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it ain't fucking happening. It mm. just ain't happening. That's a fact. Yeah. When you were there, Baz, would you say it was 100% worth your while going there and doing oh, your research? Would you recommend of, people to go there if that's of, up if, their if, 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 if they're into it, or, yeah, if it's or, up your or, or, or unless, they're, unless they're fucking sucked into the system and, like I say, care about X Factor or fucking. What did you, what, when you were there, Baz, yeah. What was your um, initial intention? What were you going to see? To prove the to faces? myself that, that, that it's from a lost ancient advanced organic civilization. And you made that connection yourself. And I made yourself. that connection. I, know, I don't need no cunt to tell me. I've been there. I've seen it with my own eyes and it insults my intelligence. If it's what otherwise. did your friend think of it? I uh, thought it was, the, it was part of the Inca or whatever. I thought, oh mate, God, fucking hell. And he used to have murder about it like between each other. No, because yeah. we respect each other. Yeah, but it's and, like, and it, I, I'm it, saying, just, it, just, just have them convos where it's... Oh, Loads of combos were mostly pissed up and all on the night time. <laughs> <laughs> he, listen, he's a great lad, but he, he and the thing is, he's so clever as well, and he's really into it all. Yeah, I just wish he'd come over to the, the dark other side. side. <laughs> I wish he'd come to the dark side. And you know what? On every other walk of life, he's, he's not, with you. He's not into mainstream, but no. this, he's fixed. I'm like, you fucking silly bastard. I'm like, it's good on. though. It's good because it gives you both. It makes you dig a little bit yeah. deeper to try and Our, brain, our brains are really really link up like yeah you know, well like, aligned it'd really really link up if you come to my side like <laughs> you're trying to get him there buddy <laughs> yeah i'm gonna delve into a completely different topic here talking to different parts of the world egypt colombia let's talk about china china in the modern day tell us about the social credit system in china buzz it's a fucking disgrace it's absolute control and it's coming here Okay, for anybody who's watching this podcast who doesn't know what the social credit system in China is, could you break it down and explain it to them? It's basically like a carbon footprint of what you're doing. It's absolute control. Say like, um, say like you like a steak. Just say, you know, they're, they're trying to push this fucking bullshit, aren't they, with mm-hmm. the, you know, the carbon thing, or cows are farting and all that, and they're causing all this trouble all over the world when at the same time you know the mining for shit for lithium and whatever to make batteries but that's irrelevant now isn't it yeah because that, that don't <laughs> yeah. fit the fucking narrative no. does it no. so not let's on talk the agenda. yeah it's not on the agenda so we don't you know um so what was you saying again so i was asking you about the um 
the, the social, social credit, credit system. Yeah, the social credit system. So uh, let's just say for one instance, I want a steak. You know, if we, if we if we implement that social credit system into our country, which they're going to, because yeah. it's coming, because it's coming. I know I'm going off a little bit, but it's coming. So I like steak, but my steak is bad for the car, for the environment, yeah? Yeah. So I want steak the next week. I want steak twice a week. Now you can't have it, mate, because you've had it that week. That's what's coming. How do they know that you've had steak Because that it's week? all digitally recorded. Because when you go to the shop, you're not going to pay with cash. Well, we'll you come to that. We'll come to that. Now. So, right, Barry, hang on a minute. So, for the, for, the, for, the, for the viewers watching, the social credit scoring system in China is basically set up where there's, like, cameras everywhere. Everywhere. And can read Facial recognition. Facial. They know your moment. They know everything. So, they know where they've you got are. All, they've got ultimate power. Which what is you're what doing. They, which is what these little weirdos want. And basically, I've done a little bit of research into it. So, basically they they give you a credit score yeah. from how you behave if you drink if you yeah. smoke what you eat everything how you Listen, behave Jack. and if you if you if you're not up there you, you might say you can't get on a train or you can't get on a plane or you can't stay in a hotel or if you go to hire a bike oh no sorry the, that that bike for you might be fucking yeah. seven chinese dollars or whatever and for me it might be 10 because my credit system scores worse exactly. than yours exactly and, and you will do as you're fucking told and that's the line you'll toe. That's the line you'll toe. You'll do as you're fucking told. You can't eat steak that way. You can't fly to What a happens big, if you, you get, get another steak, you, buddy? You, well, you'll get fuck it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll kick off. Who <laughs> 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 fucking said I can't have steak? You fucking what? I want a fucking steak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, but you can't go to a beefer. Can't go to a beef because you went to Mallorca. What do you mean I can't? Well, you can do this. Who, who are you telling me what I can and can't <sighs> fucking do? Right. So how do they regulate it, buddy? Through digital, every, everything's going to go digital. They'll fucking know. They've got your fingerprints. They've got your eyes. They've been doing all this shit with your phone. They've been collecting data. They know fucking everything. And once they stop cash, once they stop cash, we're gonna is, go, we're gonna we'll get to cash in a minute. They've got fifteen minute zones, haven't they? Yeah, well, fifteen minute. That's what they're proposing, isn't it? Well, they've started in Oxfordshire. So again, what about so, in China? Is yeah. it there now? I don't really know, mate. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I'm sure they've I, got I, like. I think they probably have. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I yeah, tell you. you can only I, go I, I so be, far be, is in that your own region. Got, I, I think there is. I'm sure there is. I'd have to double check yeah, it yeah. and look into it. Well, I know but I know the social yeah. credit scoring system is there like now. A, basically, like a prison in your own area. Yeah, and you'll buy and do, you'll you'll do what you'll do. You'll basically do what we fucking tell you. It's insane. It's insane, mate. And uh, and it, again, it's the same little cabal. The what the one percent of these fucking we've we've walked into a world where we've ended up at this situation now where we have got one percent of these people. And don't tell me they don't sit around a fucking table and know what's going on. And then what they do then? Do you think they, COVID was preparing us for 100, this? One hundred percent. And these fucking people that are in this one percent, they pay the media. They pay everybody. They've lobbied it. They've got into a position of power. It's got. It's t it took a transition now. It's t it's took a few years now. But now they are where they are. And they are literally controlling the fucking world. And they are pet. It's like, you know, like, um, I know we've gone off the social credit system, we've gone off a bit from uh, COVID, but it's like, you know, like on the TV, mm. you know, the, the mainstream. Why do you think you've got celebrity this, celebrity that, celebrity this, celebrity? Because it's the same fucking people that have sold their souls and take the money from these corporations and the news outlets that these people from above that want to fit their narrative. So they, their narrative that they think, the world that they want, they're pushing it along them. So these people are going, yes, 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 yes. And they're doing as they're fucking told. You know, you don't think, you don't see anyone on the TV who thinks outside the box, do you? No. I mean, I'd be fucking banned for straight away. They'd go, <laughs> get him fucking off. He's a fucking nightmare. You know, they don't want anyone like me. You know, they'd probably shoot, they'd shut this down. Or yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, it's, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. And like I say, uh, they, you know, these people are on the payroll. And they've, 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 what they've done, these corporations have got that much power, this cabal, that I believe is a fucking, they're absolute monsters. You know, little weirdos, little sad little fat little men with little cocks and that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sat there going, ooh, because I've got that much money. What can I do now? Let's fucking do this. Right, so let's, let, and what they've been doing as well, they've been coming up with all these fucking ideas, these think tanks and that, this gender shit and... We're gonna we're gonna get to that oh, now. Mate. See, I'm coming up, but I'm I'm on a roll now. Do you know? Yeah, I, mean? I love that. The 15 minute zones, buddy. Explain to me about what it is, what they're looking to sorry, implement yeah, here. Sorry. No, it's okay because we're Go gonna on. get to what Go you're on. gonna yeah, say. Yeah, in a yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. No, what? What are the 15 minute time zones? 15 minute time zones is is a, is a from where you live. 
you're not going to be allowed to go within 15 minutes of your own. So if you go over the, if you, so say that you're traveling, you pay your taxes, you pay your fuel, you're, you're going to be monitored. If you go outside that 15 minutes zone, you're going to get, you're going to get taxed or you're going to pay the price. So if you're fucking rich, yeah, if you're rich, yeah, yeah. then you're all right. Doesn't, doesn't fuck, apply to you. Doesn't fucking matter, does it? Yeah. Doesn't apply to all you. these soft asses sat around going, oh, I'm all right. I don't give a fuck. Or, or like my missus, I, she'll tell you no. I, mean, I say, I moan about her about this shit. And she goes, oh, stop moaning. What are you going to do? I go, what do you mean? What not? If there's thousands. That's the problem. That's the fucking, that is the fundamental problem. Because if there's thousands of people like me who are ready to take action. It's like France now. Well, France I, love what, I love what they're doing in France. I, I absolutely, I'll tell you now, I love it. I can't wait for it to happen here. As long as you don't eat small businesses, go after the corporations, go after the government buildings, go after the council officials and get them fucking cunts out their chairs. Because these cunts, right, they're stopping at nothing. They want ultimate power. And you know what? They won't get the power from us if we all unite. Once we're all united, it won't fucking happen. I tell you now. But what they've been doing very sneakily over the last 20 years is dividing everybody. Right? Divide and conquer. Oldest trick in the book. Why do you think in mainstream media and like football and everything, these people are paid so much money? They're paid more than anybody. Do you know why? Because they're paid to fucking distract people. That's why. Yeah? People like me, but well, not like me, but mates I've got, they care about more of the ball going in the back of the net on a Saturday. Yeah? They're passionate. They want to have a fight. They want to let their anger out. That's why they paid because the cunts who are paying them know that that's what they want to distract them because if you vent the real anger right, and we unite, yeah, we'll take the fucking streets back now. Do you know yeah, what I mean? but people they have got ways yeah. of ventilation. Yeah, they can't Distraction. Fucking, distraction. They're, they're paid the ultimate price for distraction and that is a fucking, that is the truth. So, we're talking about the 15 minute zones. Yeah, so, you know, the, they want complete control. They want to know what you're doing, where you're going. They want to know what, what you're doing, where you're going, what you're accountable for, what you've done, where you've been, when you when you had the shit, how much, you know, smart smart meters in your fucking house. You know, nothing smart about that, mate. No. <laughs> they, 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 smart for them, yeah, not smart, for us. So everything that's smart is smart for them and not smart for us. And again, we're, walk, we're, walk, we're sleepwalking into a fucking nightmare. But that nightmare is their utopia. And their utopia is complete control. Where and, do you see it, it going, buddy? I, f I see it going because everyone's fucking stupid, right? And they're that brainwashed and... It's, um, oh, God, it's, it's really sad, mate, what's going on. Like, people just don't see what's going on. I mean, I'm a person that cares, you know, I... I this, this, this world that we've grown up in is changing really fast and they don't know what's coming. And these, these cunts, they've got an agenda. They've made their decision. It's, it's, it's happening. There's a lot of distraction, isn't there, buddy? Well, football. Let's Listen, talk about social media and media ventilation. Yeah. You me mentioned that to me. Yeah, yeah. So, me so, like so say like, so say like nothing really happens on the streets anymore. You know, like back in the day, people used to riot, didn't they? Yeah. Or, yeah. or they, we, you know, people have come together, united. Yeah. Right? Because they didn't have the weapon of the media that they've got now to distract people and divide people. Mm. People were united. People fundamentally knew what was right and wrong. Mm. But now everyone's distracted with that many fucking things going on in the world now. And that's what they want. Because no one knows what the fuck's going on. They don't know what men are killing themselves left, right, and centre. They don't know the pit. They're poisoning the fucking food. And they are. All the, sh all the food's fucking shit. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's fucking shit. Unless yeah. you're going to eat organic. You've got to eat whole food. Unless, you, you? unless you're going to eat organic, which I've started doing, by the way. I have because yeah. of my missus and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm still a fat bastard now, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm changing. Yeah. And I, 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 my brain's there and I'm, I, know, I don't want these fucking cunts to put poison me because what the, you know... Oh, I don't even know where. There's so many things I could touch on. Do you know when you said about me, when I said to you about media ventilation, you were saying no, to I mean, me about people having a rant. Right, right. So, so, so like, so, so like back in the day, so, say like the miners' strikes or whatever. Yeah, that was, yeah. Fundamentally, people knew that was wrong, right? So right. they united and they rioted and they, 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 they tried to, to, to do something about it, didn't they? Yeah. Now, even including myself, you can go on social media and feel like you've vented out and you've had your paper, you've had your fucking say, you've had your rant, but all that does is go in an echo chamber. And they know this. So subconsciously as a human, you feel like you've had your fucking say. say. You've had your say, so you're not going to 
do anything about it. You've had them I, pheromones. You're like, you're like, I've, you've had them pheromones. You've released them endorphins. I've had me fucking say. Yeah, yeah. But it does nothing. You're it having... bounces in an echo chamber. That's fucking. It's 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 not organic. It's not real. And and they know this. So people aren't doing anything about it because the void is set out. We're all pissed off. We know what's going on, but we have a vent out because we go on social media. And even me, clear self, and I go. Da, 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 da. I've stopped doing it. Years ago, I used to van like fuck. You know, I used to get banned from Facebook all the time. Oh, yeah, it was pathetic. But I, I'm a man who cares because I can see, you know, I can see what's going on and I want change. I, I can see injustice and it's not fucking right because I know what these cunts are planning. They've literally sat around the table and gone, how can we get the ultimate power? And the ultimate power begins with taking your fucking cash away right? And knowing what you spend and what you spend your money on. And then what you spend your money on is things that we can tax you on. Do you more. think that's so going to be cashless society? Buddy? 100% they've got it coming. And they've got it coming because none of us are doing nothing about it. Yeah. None of us are doing nothing about it. Me, myself, I'll rant about it. You know, or my missus will say, oh, you're boring bastard, Baz. You know, we're sat on it. It's right though, because it's, it's They've got it down for taxes. They've and got it down for fucking it's coming, control. It, it's coming gradually. What it's, happens if the system goes down, buddy? If all your money's digital, say, like when well, you go well, on your phone, well, your listen, phone doesn't listen, work, what, you fuck. What, what about a solar flare? A solar flare that's happened throughout human history. This is how stupid these people are as well, right? That Because of that full of themselves and they want complete control and they'll stop at nothing. They, 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 they there's another, part, this is science that's true. Solar flares from the sun. Right, which mm -hmm. has happened throughout human history, will take down all circuit boards around the world or, or any electrical things, right? It'll just fry it. And that has happened throughout history. And if that and happens, If that him, happens, then we'll put it back into the Stone Age, aren't we? Well, if everything's electric, whose numbers are what? What exactly. your numbers were? Are they now my numbers? Exactly. Who fucking knows exactly. who's exactly. worth what? Exactly. And these little shitbags that are making these decisions... You know, that's that. You know, if God forbid, you know, let's hope it happens, and then we can then we can pull them out their houses. What about e stores? Did you see the Amazon store, buddy? Oh, it's a joke. They've started it. In, everything's starting in London, you know, because everything it all Cause spreads the capital because it's the capital because because people in London it's a fast life, so it's a, it's convenient for them to go in, tap the card. Cool. It's cool. They're trendy, you know. The you know, they go, they, you know, they go, they go and have a latte with their mate Tristan and fucking all this shit. You know, you know, I'm having a latte on my lunch. Fucking lunch. What's lunch? It's dinner. Yeah. You come. You know, these fucking, you know, the, 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 the laptop class. The fucking, lap, you know, these finger middle class have stopped. It's the laptop class now. Yeah. They fucking brainwashed sitting there on the fucking laptop <laughs> drinking a latte. I'm off on my lunch with uh, Kristen. Fuck off. And they, this is what's happening. So they've implemented implemented it in London, right? And it, and it, it's going to grow because it's convenient for the inconvenience, yeah? So they're going to go there, tap the car, tap the car, and it's going to grow. I'm yeah. telling you. And, it's and you can't rob from there, can you, buddy? Because it knows. Well, not it's that you want to rob anyway, but you know, it's... Uh, no, I'm saying like, because the, 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 that's, that's, that's where they're going with it. That's one of their main sales no, the points. Only, no, the they're, only not saying it. No, no, they're not saying it. They're not saying it's going to give us total no, control. Yeah. They're saying, well, it prevents yeah. stealing, yeah. so they'll what prevent they, what, losses. What they, what they mean is, no one can rob or do any misdemeanors. The only cunts that are going to do misdemeanors is us that are going to control <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah? yeah, and we'll do whatever the fuck we like because once it's implemented and it's fully universal with no cash we, you know you've done bad we'll just shut your account down now yeah and you will go to the bank you won't be able to do nothing because we will do it's like um, you know like let's get electric cars with circuit boards you know I yeah. say circuit boards I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a clever man but you know like um, software updates and stuff yeah. so let's say let's say a fucking let's say another pandemic uh, uh, you know a pandemic comes along oh you can't go anywhere you're not going to go in because they'll hit the button and your car won't fucking take you anywhere. Yeah? Because because they'll go, computer says no. You're not fucking doing that. Wow. And before you, and that's the world we're going to live in in 10 years, which, I'm, which I know now is coming and it's going to be a fucking hell of when we could have done something about it right no. now. Right now. No. You know, if and the I'm world so, changed I'm sorry to say, pre COVID to, to post COVID, oh, the world's changed at, massively. Like, what, no matter what way you but, cut but it, it's, but, but it's been engineered that way. It's been engineered that they knew this, though. They, it's been, it's been it, anyone watching who doesn't understand what these stores are, it's like basically it's a store what's automated, there's no staff. There's no, there's nobody in there. So you go in there, you walk in, you walk around, like pick a robot, up, pick up whatever you want, and basically you walk out and it comes off your card. 
that's that's and they know exactly what you've bought what you've taken like say like say then there's going to be this because you know like you know like the the green agenda yeah the, the, you know the green agenda the green agenda is just another industrial revolution in a in a different form a way that they can t tax you you know, it's, it's stealth. It's fucking bullshit. It's just a load of shit. And people are buying into it as well. Let's touch on immigration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> illegal immigration. Illeg yeah. Illegal immigration. Yeah, illegal immigration. Illegal immigration. Illegal immigration. Yeah. Um, fucking, oh, it pisses me off, mate. It does it. You know, because there is, there is um, families that are misplaced by our foreign policy. Yeah. You know, it's the, it's the West foreign policy. Let's be honest, United States and, and Britain, we are the ones destructing the fucking world, right? These people, let's let's say even before the Twin Towers went down, right? For whatever wrongs or rights or whatever, then people were happy where they were, weren't they? 100%. They were fucking happy where they were. 100%. We are the people that have misplaced them. Let's be fucking honest, yeah? You know, they've caused shit all over the world. There's mass immigration, You've got people like George Soros, who's who's got a charity called Open Open Society. It's a charity. He put seventeen billion pounds of his own money in to ship people over from the Mediterranean. That's called social engineering, as far as I'm concerned. That's not fucking humanity. That's social engineering and the shape of this world that they want. Because when they start mixing races and people, th this world government that they want. Once you start, say like fifty years from now. The white people are going to be a majority. It's not racist or anything like that, but people are not going to go to their identity. So if you can't see where you know your identity from, it's easy to control people because you all look the fucking same. Everyone's the same. Everyone's the fucking same. Where are you from? Well, what do you mean where I'm from? <laughs> where I'm from? Where, yeah, where, are, where are you from? What do you mean where I'm from? I'm from the world. You know, because yeah. I look, this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing. With Do immigration. You? There's yeah. a company called Circo, isn't yeah. there? Co company called Circo, right? And everyone switches the news on now and again, and they go on about immigration, illegal immigration. There's a reason why in our country, I can't speak about other countries, in our country, there's a company called Circo, right? And they've got the same contract that ships prisoners in and out of prisons, right? Mm -hmm. And they are happy for people to go in and out of prison, you know, because it's money, and they're happy for uh, illegal immigrants to come over and house them in hotels. Why? Because the politicians have got massive fucking shares in the company Seiko. It's big business, it's exploitation, and they don't give a fuck. It's right? in their best interest. It's in their best interest to keep the ignorance coming over and put them in, in hotels because they've got shares in the company that fucking houses them in hotels. And that is the bottom line. It's all about fucking money. They don't give a fuck about them people. They don't give a fuck about you. All they care about is fucking money. And these are the people that people are voting for, whether you vote red, blue, whatever. They've all got fucking shares in the company called Seiko. Right, and that's a fact. Go and have a look yourself, because I can't be asked. Because it's it, ten and, and, and it actually pisses me down. off. It fucking pisses me off. You know, it, it gets me fucking angry. Because then you got the lefties going, "Hey, you're just a racist." I'm like, "Fucking shut the fuck up! Wake <sighs> up, you fucking mum! Go and have a look. Go and look. These cunts are fucking exploiting you. They're fucking socially engineering you to hate me and me to hate you because they've done all this for years. They're yeah. playing it. I'm yeah. like, you fucking mug. These are the ultimately, it's all about money and they're making fucking money and it's an absolute joke. And that is the bottom line of it. It's not about, you know, he's, he's, he's fleeing him and he's fleeing there. It's about money. They are making fucking money off fucking illegal immigrants and Fine, they're housing them in hotels and they don't give a fuck. And they even got, you know, because he's got his friend there and he's got his friend there. We'll go in there. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go in that old RAF base then. Let's do it up there and house them there then. There's no, there's no plan. Capital gain. There's no, there's no plan for where did they go after that? No. Because there's fucking loads of them. It's turning the country it's upside turning down. turning the country upside down. We don't know who's coming here. You know, they're all, I'm not saying all of them, you know, but you don't know who's coming here. There's you know, been a lot of uproar with it, hasn't there? And yeah, a lot not of enough. Fuck, no, not yeah, enough. there hasn't. There not hasn't. Enough. Not enough. And I, I, I'm not even going to go and say what I really think, but I'm pissed off. I'm I, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm ready to go. And everyone else should be now because it's our children's future. Definitely. It's this, this is Great Britain. This is Great Britain. And somehow, one way or another... We've come to a position where little fucking needy little men in shirts and ties, like I said, with little cocks, sat around the table, right, and making decisions that are fundamentally changing their future because of their fucking pockets that they can't get enough fucking money in, yeah? yeah. And it's got to stop. 
And until we do something about it and unite and understand that we're all the same, we're all we're all fucking the same, right? These cunts have been fucking manipulating us to think certain different ways. We need to be united and stop. Come don't, together. don't vote. No, don't, yeah. don't don't vote. Don't because you know blue and fucking red or whatever doesn't mean shit. No, there's power in numbers, isn't there, buddy? Power in numbers, mate. What are they going to do? Shoot us all? Nah, nah. We need to take these cunts out of the chairs. I, I physically remove them myself. I'd love to, I'd love to pull them out of the chairs with a fucking head. Do you know what I mean? Can we talk about the education <laughs> system? Yeah. Oh, what, the indoctrination system? <laughs> the indoctrination station. It's not a school, it's not an education system anymore. It's an indoctrination system. You will do as you're told. You're a child. You will come in, you will sit down, you will ask when you need to go for a piss. You'll do as you're fucking told, yeah? And these fucking kids, kids should be kids, shouldn't they? And they're not being kids anymore, are they? You're being you're being trained to be an employee and do as you're fucking told. When you say it's an indoctrination station, buddy, are you talking referring to how how, how the programming young children at the moment? One hundred percent to their narrative. And again, it's this it's this one percent of the the richest people in the world, right? That have become so fucking powerful. They've infiltrated every walk of life. From media to education to politicians, they pay politicians to shape the world how they want to see it. These cunts aren't even Who elected. Are these people, they're, they're buddy? Well, fucking like, your Bill Gates, your George Soros's, you know your fucking Bezos, you know the the fucking cabal. They are an absolute cabal. They're the elitist of the elitist, and they've got a utopia of how they want to see the world. You know they don't they don't live like we do. Do you believe there's 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 a certain number of people? involved in this cult money wise the richest people on the planet basically and they're the ones who are calling the shots buddy One all minute. on the same agenda fact. fact all on the same agenda all on the same agenda all little weirdos you know, fat little men with little dicks do you know do you know do you know Boris Johnson Rishi Sunak no, listen, look, look whoever you want to talk no, listen, about they're, they're, they're just puppets they're at a domestic level that have been paid off they are getting puppets, paid, they're they? getting lobbied they're getting lobbied by these corporations, right? And they are just fucking puppets. Same as Biden. You can't tell me he's in control. He don't know what fucking day it is, does he? Have you seen the state of it? <coughs> you know, come on, let's be honest. It's not a joke. He don't know what fucking day it is, does he? It? It's, it's just... It's just a fucking... Do you know why? Because he's a stooge and he's there as a piece. The CIA are in bed with the corporations and they are... Don't ever underestimate how powerful the CIA are. They are fucking powerful. And they know all man control. They know all the little tricks. They know everything. And they're in bed with the corporations. They've all come together. And we're at this stage right now where it's... It never happened 20 years ago where it was as bad as what it is now. It's happening right now. Do you think there's one world order for everybody? Massively, yeah. F- full control. Full, absolute control. To so the point where, you know, it's like even like we've dismissed the third world now. Because we can't implement this digital world that we're going to go into, but they can shape the world. They can they can educate kids and they can tell them whatever they want. When kids are leaving school now and they're becoming young adults, they've got it. They've always had it like this. It's set up in a system, buddy. For me, yeah. where the clever ones, um, oh, the, well, the, so, well, so-called clever, like, uh, acad- like academic yeah. in a system that's yeah. been man-made to be an employee and yes. do as you're fucking yes. told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ones who who. who, who uh, advanced academically. Yeah, advanced. They say, they say to them, the, right? The clever ones. Yeah, why don't you go to college? Yeah. And then from college, you can go to uni. Yeah. And in uni, we'll hit you with a big fucking bill. Yeah. But when you when you come out of uni, yeah, we'll then give you a job. Get, so then you're we'll, in debt. Then we'll give you a mortgage. Yeah, then we'll give you a Then we'll give you a little exactly. car. And then exactly. they're scared to step away from that system. Because they won't go and start a business. They, 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 they love that system, though. Because they, 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 the they designed and they, it. And they depend on And then, you know, the people who aren't as academic, they can go and work in McDonald's. Because they can't think outside the box because they're programmed they're not critical thinkers and then people like me you know they think I'm a fucking lunatic look at me I'm like I'm pissed off because I can see what's going on everything's not everything's not adding up right mate it's a fucking joke let's touch on this issue now putting one billion pound investment into the Moderna vaccine before COVID happened yeah that's what he did he put a fucking what would you want me to say? He put a fucking... He invested £1 billion of his own money into the Moderna vaccine before COVID. And now he's the Prime Minister. Did he know something you didn't know? Well, obviously, because he's in the cabal, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he? 
A billion pound. But yeah, a billion pound. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how much he, I don't even know what his turn back was, but that's a fact. He invested it. A lot of people, that, you're not going to see that in the news, are you? Because the same people that he's bought into own the fucking media that relay the narrative. COVID was a very weird time, weren't it, Barry? We lived through a very, very, very strange time, and I've never, ever spoke about it on this podcast before COVID at all. It's never been a topic of mine. <sighs> COVID was nuts, weren't it? Can yeah. you remember fucking standing yeah, outside was, queuing up when you can't it, listen, go in the listen. fucking supermarket with your missus? You've got to be two meters it apart. It was bad. For, it was bad for me at the time because, because I'll be honest with you, when it first happened. So say let's start January. Yeah. So January, I was on holiday with the, with my bed and that, and uh, we just had the baby. She was no, she was pregnant. So it was in January, and then it comes to April, and the so called peak of COVID happened, and she had the baby. So when the baby come along, I, I didn't know, I didn't really know what was going on, but I was sort of listening to the news and sort of not because I don't believe everything, as you know, I don't believe I, everything on the news. Yeah, I, I don't them. watch the news, but, buddy. But, 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 you know, I don't watch it now. I used to. Yeah, I used I, to, I, yeah. I used to, yeah. And uh, my daughter was born in the so-called peak of COVID, even the, even down to the actual day. Like wow. The, the, you know, the, num- the yeah, so-called, yeah. you know, when these charts come yeah, on. Yeah, so- when at Apex. The, the, the so-called fucking peak, my daughter was born on the same fucking day, right? And I wasn't allowed in the hospital. I wasn't allowed to stay. Anyway, long story short. Did you not see her get born, buddy? Sorry? Could you see her be actually Yeah, I did, because yeah, 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 I was a bit forceful, like, you know what I mean? And there was nurses in there that probably knew the score as well. Yeah, but yeah. the general consensus was like, you know, you're not allowed in. <laughs> It was boxed off, but we so anyway. I got in there, we did it. I, I wasn't allowed to stay there for the night, but it was just fucking bullshit, man. You know, like and uh, clear as day now, it was all manufactured. I don't really know what how far to go with it all. I could, t- I could talk to you about it all day now, what I think, but I don't think it's a good thing to go down like because it just gets me fucking angry. Yeah, it was it gets, a, it gets it was me angry. A crazy, crazy time, innit? It was a bad time, mate. It was a bad time, like, uh, and like I say. At that time, going back in my memory, I was a, I sort of listened to it, but and I sort of want, but so as a man, you've got to protect your family. And I sort of stood on the fence and I thought, do you know what I'm just going to do? I'm not going to let anyone to the house. So we were boxed in our house for a good few months because I met, it was me that made this. If I said to my missus, like some of my mates did, oh, fuck COVID. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, in hindsight, that would have been the better thing to do. But at the time, I, I sort of didn't know what to do. So I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to take my chances. So me and my missus lived in a fucking house for six months or five months with a fucking newborn baby sat in a fucking house. Fucking yeah? insane. No, and we're still together. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and we're still together. Do you know what I mean? Hey, we're, still, we're still here now. It was crazy. It was fucking hard work. Like, it was man. mad. Boxed off in a house because of my, not because of his, because of the man. You know, she has her roles. Ultimately, I'll have the last decision. Barry, I didn't give a fuck about it. The second it is, I was like, I'm yeah, not bothered. That, I just went that, out and I, and I just and cracked I, on and done my thing. I, but I, I wish, I, in hindsight, I wish I was like that. Hindsight's but, a wonderful but, but thing, because, isn't it? But because I had the baby. Yeah, it's brand new and all and, that. And, and no one can understand how it comes across when you've got that baby in you and you don't really, and you, and you know, who am I going to listen to when I've got a scientist, right? Listen, it's all come about now when I've got a scientist saying one thing or I've got Joe Bloggs from down the street saying, saying another. I'm like, oh, what am I going to choose? Little do I know now, it's all come about. The scientists were paid off. They were fucking paid off, mate. And it's the same like again with the media. It was everything. crazy, buddy. Uh, yeah, it's, they're all paid off, aren't they? They're all paid off. The modern world's when crackers, gender identity, and all of oh, that. Don't it? even start me on that. But what again, do you identify like, as, buddy? Just a fucking <laughs> I'm just to so a raving <laughs> lunatic, an absolute fucking lunatic, a man who speaks from the heart. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck what you think. You know, <laughs> it's just the way it is, mate. I, I, don't, uh, I don't give no, a fuck. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I know, I love it. All I know is that I've got a good art, I've got good morals, I've got old-fashioned values, and uh, no one can take that away from me. No. So I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Whether That's a good thing, buddy. It's yeah. a good thing that you don't care what people think. Yeah. Um, Sorry Let's for, touch so, on your pain. Sorry for, sorry for ranting on a No, bit. I like it. I, 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 that's what it's all about, man. Shake the mic. That's what it's for. Yeah. Um, Let's just touch on your personal life a little bit, Barry. Yeah. Um, Who wants to listen to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I say, no, 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 one's, no one's asked, are they? But yeah, I've, I've got a little, I've got my own little story. You lost your dad, like, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That was a big part of my life, yeah. Massive. Broke me. My dad, see, me, I've, I've, 
Uh, lads I've grown up with in my life, I've uh, been misplaced to that. But, you know, by nature, the type of person I am, they've all come from a bit of broken homes and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, me, I was lucky enough to have a dad that was fucking bang on. He was a great man. Best best man I've ever known in my life. And uh, Yeah. And, he, he, you know, he died of cancer. But uh, I don't really know where to go with that. I thought, I, you know, you you... you, you Rip my brain with it and said, oh, I'll talk about your dad, but I don't think I'm, I don't think, I don't know if I want to talk about it. You don't want to talk I, about it. I do and I don't like because it's, it's, how a did long, it impact it's your a body? Long, it's a long story. It changed Let's my life. Let's not go too it deep. It cha- changed me, it changed my life, mate. Because, like I say, my dad was, my dad was my best, my dad was, was my best mate. My dad was my go to. Since then, I've had no go to. I've had to regroup, I've had to shut people off. I've lived in, I'm an angry man. You know, they, uh, I've never diagnosed myself with something, but, they, you know, they call things PTSD. Don't know if I've got it or what. You know, uh, my, dad, um, my dad died in my arms. My dad died fucking... My dad, my dad come to me one time in January and he says, oh, listen, just as straight as he was, he went, I've, uh, I've got stage four, straight straight up. He went, I've, uh, I've got something to tell you. I went, what? He went, I've got, uh, I've got stage four cancer in my uh, soft goes. What are you on about? He went, oh, I've got, uh, I've got cancer. I'm, I'm going to die. And what do you mean you're going to die? He went, I'm, I'm going to die. I went, stage four, there's nothing they can do. I remember him giving me, like, and he, and he looked dead sad that. So I gave him a cuddle, but I didn't really register. Mm. I was like, well, bearing in mind, he had no grey hairs. He was fit as a fiddle. He's only 62. Fucking, just, just normal. Just fucking normal. I thought he was going to live for another 20 years, at least, like... Anyway, out the box, fucking cancer, stage four, bang. No, no, no fucking, just, that's it, I'm going to die. Long story short, it got diagnosed in January and he was dead in October. But leading up to it, it was painful, you know, because... Was fa- it surreal, buddy? Sorry? Was it surreal dead for surreal, you? Dead surreal, mate, dead surreal. And, uh, yeah, it was fucking weird. Like, was your what's, dad what's, the head what, of the family? My dad was the head of the family, the nucleus. Everything falls apart. Everyf- everything, mate. He was, he was always my go-to, because like I say, as you know, I live in Grimsby, but I'm from Liverpool. All my family's here. All my, fa- you know, all my family's Scouser here. Scouser at half, Proper, yeah. proper, proper Scouser at half, even though I've got this little funny accent. Like, <laughs> you know, you're all right, mate, lad. But you know I'm a proper, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, fucking hell, lad. Hey. But you know I'm a, pro- I'm a proper Scouser. Yeah. All my no. family's here. You I know. know, I know. I'm a fucking, I am a Scouser. I think like a Scouser, I've got a heart like a Scouser. You I know. fight like a Scouser. I'm a fucking Scouser. Have you suffered mentally, buddy? Massively, mate, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, massively. Uh, long story short, massive long story short. When he uh, when he got diagnosed in the January, and then the, you know, and then he was doing the radiotherapy. My mum and my sisters, they were all in denial. The, you know, this treatment. You know, it's made me see again. If I if I ever got told I had stage four cancer, I'd uh, I'd shoot myself. I'd fucking get a bullet. I couldn't stand under a train. I couldn't jump off a building. I couldn't hang myself. I just go see my mate, get a gun, I would fucking shoot myself because mm. it's out. Straight away, I would never go through what my dad went through, so uh, you know, it carried on. And ca- anyway, so let's get to the last month of his life. So he's in hospital. My dad was a cunt, right? He won't t- take the drugs, mm. he, was, he was dead old macho and that. He was like, If I'm in pain, I know I'm alive. I was like, What are you even saying to me? He was in pain, long st- anyway. Yeah. So the last two weeks of his life, they would put him in hospital and they tried to stabilize him. And uh, so when he come home from the hospital, we'd actually got the sofa taken out of the front room to put it in the garage because mm-hmm. they were going to bring an hospital bed in there. He didn't know there was an... So in my dad's world, he mm-hmm. didn't know any of this because he was in hospital dying. Yeah. He was getting stabilised. So when they brought him into the house, they up, they, the, 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 uh, the sofa had been moved. And when they come in with the hospital bed, I saw a tear roll down my dad's eye and it fucking broke me. <sighs> I've never seen my dad cry in my life. Because he knew, because he, yeah. he knew he was going. Like he knew that this is it. We've got to stabilize. What you know? Because this is a long story short. He's been difficult in hospital. This is the end. This is the end. So they got him in the hospital. Can't remember what day it was. They got him in the hospital. Got him from hospital in the house on that day. And then you know the sofa was moved. Got him in the front room. And I see his tear balls. And I was like, oh, come on, dad. He went. He went. I'm all right. Because he was fully talking. Because he had no cancer in the brain. And he's strong. He wouldn't be sedated. Yeah. This is the point with my dad. This is the story that people don't know. He never had no drugs that would sedate him. 
he wanted to be. So it was difficult for him because most people who die of cancer that advanced, they die off in their sleep, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And it fucks with them because of they, all the drugs they, and they, that they, they're they, on, yeah. They're probably asleep for four weeks yeah, before they die. Yeah, yeah, He was fucking, his brain was wide awake. He knew exactly what was going on. Mm. So he's in the front room, which was his palace, yeah? And the sofa's gone and he's in the bed. And he had a tear rolling down his house. I was like, oh, no, no, no. And, uh... Anyway, so I spent the night with him and uh, the next the next day, the next day I sat with him and then he started deteriorating again, but he, again, blah, blah, blah. Long story short again, the, the night was going on, there was a football match on, I think it was a, it was a Alder shot against Man United in a cup game. So people couldn't have a look. It was like 2011 or something like that. And he was watching the match and he wanted to piss we had a commode there. We could sit him on the toilet and have a piss, but he won't fucking. He thought he could still do it anyway. He got up to have. He went. I need a piss. And he got up to have a piss, and he uh, he started fucking wailing and that. And I said, like, "What are you doing?" So my man was there anyway. So a little guy at the time, he was. He started to die. His heart. He never had a heart attack. His heart stopped beating. So then he wasn't getting any oxygen to his brain. I know I know I'm going off a bit on tangent that because I'm going no. I know this since afterwards. Just flow with it. So uh, so he started wailing in front of me and his arms he was going, uh, uh, uh. I was like, fucking hell. I grabbed his head, I was like, don't fight, don't fight. It. And my mum's sat there, my mum's got hold of me. My mum fucking had a my mum had a, a locked into my hand there. My sister was in the hallway jumping up and down with her fingers in her ears because of the noise he was making. Fucking hell. It was like about I'd be lying if I said it went on for more than 30 seconds. But, but 30 it, seconds felt 30 like sec a lifetime. It was like watching my dad drown with a pane of glass in front of me. My dad couldn't breathe because there was no oxygen because his heart had stopped. And he was going, uh, uh, and he started, and then he started stopping and he was going, and he started going, and I saw, come on then, yeah, it's all right. And I put his head against mine and I watched his pupils dilate, right? He's dilating, he's, bless him, his little mouth and he's slavered and that. And then I put him on me, I put him on my shoulders and that. And I said, oh, dad, you up. And uh, I, I thought, fuck it. I went, mammy, I went, mammy's gone, mammy's gone. And uh, we had this panic button because of the nurses. I don't, because, you know, because of his circumstances. And she hit this button and... Uh, I said to my mum, I went, mammy has gone, my leg was going like that, just shaking. I was sat there, so I'm sat there with my dad like that. My mum's like that, my sister's in the hallway up and down because of the noise, he, the noise he was making was mental. She was stood in one spot, just jumping up and down with her fingers in her ears, screaming. Her fucking knees were touching her chest, just in one spot going boom, boom, boom. I remember looking, my knees was like that. And I went, mammy has gone. She went, don't you fucking say that. I went, mammy has gone. She went, don't fucking say that. So this button, what was in the house, like a um, like a panic button. Mm. This nurse come in. I had him there like that, rested his head on me, and she just lifted his eye and she went, "Oh, Lenny." And when she went that, I just sort of left, let, let him go. It was a weird scenario, man, because I'd never let him go at all. He fucking, mm. he was there, mate. Do you know what I mean, like that. And uh, I just sort of let him go. And she, this nurse was that like, obviously that trained. She just sort of just took him, like, do you know what I mean? Is that? So something like, oh, Lenny, like, like she'd let us all know. When she did that, it was like, he's gone. Mm -hmm. And then my mum was sat there. I remember, and I stood up, I went into the hallway. I'm not going to say I collapsed because I've never collapsed of anything in my life. For some reason, I hit the fucking floor, man, in the hallway. And I'm crawling in the fucking hallway. Literally hysterical, crawling, like just crawling. And I'm trying to grab onto the back door and open the back door, I couldn't open the back door. And I actually crawled outside into the garden, man like on my hands and knees and was crawling. I couldn't fucking stand up, mate. You know, because I loved him that much. I fucking loved that man so much, mate. He was, a, mate, it, mate, he, mate he was a boss, man, mate. It, mate, he was the best, you know what I mean? And uh, I know everyone has people who die and I know it's a normal, I know it's universal, but he was fucking, he was he, not just my dad, he was my, be, he was my best mate. I was lucky enough to have that, you know. He was a fucking good man. He was so good on every level. And like, and there I am. My world's fucking ended. And then I regrouped myself. I've gone mad. I punched the fucking, smashed the back garden up, fucking punching the fucking fence and all that. Don't even know why or what. It's anger, fucking mental. Do you know what I mean? And come back in, the, uh, the, the undertaker's there, and my dad's there, ah, with his fucking mouth open. 
And then once they get put, put into the coffin, like, you know, like, you know, because he's a dead weight and when they pick an arm up and the mm. legs up and his head was back and I just thought, what the fuck is going on here? And anyway, long story short again, I went to see him. At, I went to see him at the funeral parlor. I went twice. I went fucking twice. And you know what killed me more when I was in there to see him in the funeral parlor was his fucking, was his shoes. I was like, look at you with your shoes on, mate. Do you know what I mean? I thought, you're not fucking going anywhere with them, man. Do you know what I mean? It just broke me like, and that's a very, very long story short, mate. But that broke me. I was fucking broken as a man. Like you, you could never. And that, 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 that fucking thing. What happened to me with him dying? Like wasn't supposed to be like that. I've, I've even, I've even forgot bits out because when the, when the fucking, when the, um, when the doctor come, the day he died, because he died later on in the night, probably about nine or ten o'clock. The day he died, the doctor come round and said, like, look, there's nothing else we can do for him. And my mum was there. And she went, he needs to know now. And my mum was going, no, we can't tell him. I went, he fucking knows. Just fucking tell him. So that, anyway, we they agreed that I was right. So the doctor went in and went, listen, Lenny, look, there's nothing else because he wasn't sedated. There's nothing else we can do you for you now. Help. My dad put an hand out and he went, I'm ready to go now, mate. He went, he went, he went to my mum. He went, he went, I want, he went, I want to abide with me at my funeral. My mum went, you what, you want a Bible? He went, no, not a fucking Bible. He went, I want to buy with me. You know the Wembley song? Yeah, the, yeah. You know the Wembley song? Yeah, yeah. The FA Cup final? Yeah. I want to buy with me. Put his hand out like a man, like a fucking man, yeah? He went, he went I'm ready to go now. I, went, I saw it with my own eyes. And later on that night, he fucking died, mate. Why, oi, wide awake, mate. His head was crystal clear, mate. Because he was a fucking warrior, mate. And he was not sedated. He was not under any sedation when he died. His heart just stopped beating. Didn't have a heart attack. His heart just it's stopped, just, stopped. just stopped beating. So then when he was doing all this, which I found out in hindsight, asking the nurses and everything, couldn't get no oxygen. So I watched my dad die and me fucking, and that tr fucking traumatised me, mate. You know, has it, has it ruined my life? Nah. Has it made me a better person? Yeah, because I used a negative into a positive. Because nothing can fucking scare me any more than watching my dad die, the man you love in front of your fucking face, and look, watch his pupils literally dilate in front of your eyes. And that's the fucking truth, mate, yeah? And it was it was fucking heavy, heavy gear, mate. You know, and I, 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 I thought, has it changed me? Yeah, I'm still a bit angry, yeah? You know, it shaped my life, mate. You know, I hold a lot of fucking anger. You know, look at the way I'm talking to you now. The way I'm, I can feel it inside. I'm a, I'm a fucking angry man. What's you know? going on you through your buzz? Uh, the gym. Going to, even though I'm a fat cunt, but I don't use the steroids. I'm not on the gear and that. I just, I always keep myself going and that, you know. I try and be a better person all the time. I try and be the person he was. I try, you know, I don't believe all this fucking shit, like say mainstream and that. I try to try and be a good person. I've got a good family unit around me. I'm loyal as fuck. No one can take that away from me. I'm a good man. You're a you good know? man, buddy. I'm a fucking good man, mate. I try my best, you know. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. And uh, I just try and implement it. And uh, and like I say, and then uh, when I finally was better, cause, you know, people go on about mental health and I do get mental health, but I got to a point in my life where I thought it would become like a bit fashionable as well. But when there's people going out on the weekend, having a sesh, Right, and they're saying, "Oh, I've got problems now." You've been on the fucking session, mate. That's what. That's your fucking problem. You can't put the beat down, mate. Come on, let's let's talk real, yeah. You can't put the fucking sesh down. You've blob work on a Monday, and now your fucking missus is having to go eat because you didn't go back home till Monday, and that's what's really going on. Don't say you got mental health problems, yeah. You're talking fucking shit. Yeah, you know. You just need to get your life in order. You just need to get your fucking life in order. Know what's right. Know what's wrong. And uh, look. And I'm still on the journey of life, mate. Like everyone else, we're all winging it, aren't we? None of us know what we're doing, no, we're, all just, we're all just when I was, when, I remember Joe Rogan saying one time, and he said, when I was younger, and, it, and I used to think this as well, and it stuck with me. He said, when I was younger, he says, you just look at older people and go, they knew what they were doing. And no. now, now I'm older as well. No one knows. I'm a 42-year-old man. I can honestly say I'm a fucking man. I'm a grown man, 42 years old. Here I am. And none of us know what the fuck we're doing. No one does, Barry. When I was we're a kid, I used to look up and think, yeah, when I get to, when I become a man, I'll know what I'm doing. When I become a man, I won't be scared of anything anymore. You're always, that's always there. You'll always have fear but in like you. Say, none you know, of us know what we're doing. Going back to that, my dad dying though, honestly though, Jack, honestly. Nothing can ever scare me. And that, that is the fucking truth. 
I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. There's no man that can scare me. There's no, I don't give a fuck. Oh, but also, why should a man? I don't put myself in positions for. No, I understand I, what you're I, saying. You know, yeah, I'm just not bothered, mate. You just, yeah. I, I just, I just want an easy life. I want a nice, comfortable life. I don't get myself in situations with people, but if it's there, it's there. Men's mental health is big now, buddy. Um, why do you think it's so big? Do you think it's always been there, but it's just been an elephant no, in the room, no. or do you just think, you know? Do you think, like, as you said, people are playing out on it a little I think, bit? I think, I, I think the elephant in the room is the bad food and the elephant in the room is the drugs on the weekend. Because it's the same, it's usually the same culprits. The same sort of people we know who are in the mix. Yeah. Let's be honest. I yeah, know you do, get the, a few, the people. you do get a few fragmented people that we don't know if you're not in the mix that do die for it. I don't know. But fundamentally... If you're already eating well, it seems working to be, out. It seems that the people that are, seem to be killing themselves... Fundamentally, at the forefront, you know, if you did a statistic, they seem to be the people who are like a weekend, aren't they? Mm, or, yeah. they or they liked a weekend 10 years ago, and now it's coming back to get them. Because we're in uncharted territory now. This is all new. These, these you know, no one was battering it fucking 50 years ago like they are now. No. Now you've got a good percentage of people fucking battering it, aren't you, on the weekend? What do you think is going to happen in the future, Barry? What's another 20 years going to look like on them people? Fucking worrying. Yeah, it's fucked. And society of today with the kids now running around and stuff like that. They're completely it's, it's different gonna, different become, to when just, I was growing up and your generation before me was different to when, when you were growing it's up. It's going to be a completely it's, different... It's fucking obviously, scary, obviously buddy. With, and, and obviously with a cashless society and also with the schools that they're going to keep indoctrinating and keep implementing that, that's the way forward when kids should be running free. You know, mm. this is another thing what's coming. We've got kids, we've got, you know, the, uh, not just the weekend, but, you know, this education system is a, it's a foreign system. It's a man-made system to make you be an employee. Kids should be running free. You're not, you're not allowed to think for yourself. You will told, you'll be told what you fucking think. Mm. And it's not right, mate. No. And, you know, as a father, it's, it's a duty of my, being a father is to protect my children. I said to my missus, if, if I see all this shit starts when the little legs goes to school, I'll be fucking taking them out of school and I'll make loads of fucking noise about it as well. Mm. You know, and I want other people to follow suit because, you know, they're teaching kids about masturbation, six years old now. Come on. I'm not even a left, a liberal lefty or a fucking... No, no, you know, there's, you, there's fucking like, madness going on. I'm like, what are you going on about? But again, it's, the, it's their agenda, it's their narrative. These fucking cunts, this cabal, this 1%, they're fucking, you know, they go to Pedo Island, Epstein Island and all that. Mm. They're fucking, they're monsters, mate. They are absolute... They, they, we've come into this world where there's these people that have become in positions of power and they've took their little fucking weird little ways with them and want to shape the world in the way they fucking think. And the way they think is fucking wrong. And that's a fact. I'm with you on that, Baz. I'm 100% with yeah, you. Yeah, it's a fucking joke, mate. I know I'm rambling on. Has physical the... exercise helped you? 100%, mate, yeah. Well, I did the uh, coast to coast. But before I, met me, before I even met my missus, I moved with my missus for eight years. After my dad died, I went to the gym for two years. Didn't even drink a drop of alcohol. I was a fucking absolute loner. Didn't see any of my mates. Fucking see any? I was just on my own, just all, just constantly on my own. People I know now didn't even know me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've yeah. just always been a bit of a recluse. Anyway, it's only since I've got my beard. I've, You've worn a bit I've, more. Yes, I've always been a recluse. Oh, you know, introvert. From, oh yeah, massive introvert. You know, even from living from Liverpool, uh, growing up as a kid, I've been an introvert. Never known where I fitted in. Where's this? Where's that? But I know fundamentally I'm fucking headstrong and I know what I want to do. Mm. And I've, I've seen people, crowds, I thought, I'm not going to go that way because they're all fucking knobheads. Do you know what I mean? So I'll do what I want to do. And uh, so, yeah, like I say, so so when my dad died, I didn't have anything, didn't do fucking booze or anything for two years. Anyway, I met this girl that I'm married to now, I've been with her eight years. And then she brought me out of my shell. So I started fucking being the person I was do you know what I mean or am but no one ever knew because I've always been an introvert does that make sense yeah 100% but then yeah. when I got there then I got happy and then I got fucking fat so then doesn't so, matter so then I become this big <laughs> fucking fat so then I become this big fat are you fat. happy Baz well, you're not, not and no, you no, say no, you're I, fat buddy no, no, you're not no, fat listen, no no listen I've lost 12 kilos I'm, I'm, I was about to say I'm looking at you going oh, no, no listen but last year I was fucking I was like a bit like a walrus on the beach you're looking in shape my man uh, yeah I'm in shape There's, now don't talk bad about it no no because I'm telling you the truth because I'm telling you the truth but when I got there because then I thought do you know what this girl's fucking age like yeah like everything I've ever wanted like she's 
she's fucking mad, she's crazy, she, she understands, we're on the same page, like, you know, she's a, she looks good looking in that, but she's, she's she, on your level, she's on my level, she, she's a geezer bird, you know, yeah, yeah. she's a fucking geezer bird, and anyway, so I got happy and complacent, and I got really fat with her, yeah, yeah, like, fucking hell, fucking hell, bro. lost it a bit, I was holding my breath, put me tight, <laughs> took, took my shoelaces up, I would go, I'd go, I'd be like, fucking hell, I'd go, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, but now we all get like that whole body sometimes. But listen, 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 but listen since January, I've been training again. My man, and now I'm back in the zone. Yeah, yeah I'm boy. on the gear. I feel, I feel fucking great. And now after, now after marrying everything together, and uh, you know, there's things I told you about me, uh, my childhood. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about the podcast. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about the podcast, but there's things that happened to me in my childhood as well that are absolutely detrimental to my life. My anger issues, my everything, not trusting people. And now I've come to this fucking, where I'm at right now, sat in this chair, I'm fucking bulletproof. No one can fucking ever derail me on nothing. And I've had to find out the hard way. And uh, I'll never fucking sink, mate. I'll always swim, mate. Always, always, yes, always. Buddy. And I mean that from the bottom of my head. I am fucking there, mate. And I know what's going on. I'm a 42-year-old man. And I'll, I'll own that shit. I will fucking own it. And yeah. Good on you, you're a credit to yourself. And that's it, mate, yeah. Coast to coast, let's touch on that before we wrap up. You done the coast to coast, didn't you? Did you do it for a charity? Did you do it for a challenge? Why did you do <laughs> it? I did it because, like I say, being with her, being fat and happy, <laughs> I thought, I'll go in the mirror, I thought, I can't even see my cock anymore. You know, if you look down, you know, because my belly was that big. <laughs> I listen, I couldn't see my cock. I could only just see the end of my toes. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Like Peppa Pig. And then, and then because of my mental health and that, you know, which isn't, you know, not fashionable because I really had problems. No, like, yeah, you weren't, you I, weren't yeah, in a good place. I know place. I didn't really touch on my mental health properly because I don't want to go, I don't really know. Yeah, you don't want to tap into it again. I don't want to tap into it again because I, I am someone that has suffered. Yeah, so you just want to stay on the wavelength, you know? Yeah, and let's that, stay and there. Yeah, and that's it. So me talking about it now, I don't really want to. Don't want to drag yourself yeah, down. Yeah, I don't want to drag myself down. Like, because uh, now, like I say, and God bless, I've, I've got this thing in my head where I feel like it's a bit fashionable. Yeah, yeah. And that, I'm, you know, no, and, I, know so I don't really want to talk because I generally. I've had mental health problems from being a teenager. Yeah, no. I've been diagnosed with fucking all sorts, you yeah. know, schizophrenia, fucking all sorts of fucking shit. I have this tablet, I have this. I don't, I don't touch fuck all, mate. Yeah. I have, I've, I've had everything. Yeah. I don't touch fucking, I don't touch nothing. So anyway, big fat mess, fucking like walls, can't see me cock, holding my breath, doing my shoelaces. <laughs> and I'm into, I'm starting getting into like watching YouTube and that. And I've stumbled up, you know, Cause I had insomnia as well, massively. I'd go Couldn't three, sleep. I'd go three or four nights with no sleep. So I'd be on YouTube and that fucking having a look. And I found this, you know, uh, looking at, um, you know, the wilderness and that. But I've always had, a, I always love nature and that. I love nature. Nature's go for the soul. Well, and do you I know what, buddy? The, listen, you, listen. I didn't know it at the time. Anyway, I didn't know it at the time. But I start. So I, thought, I you know see what? you getting out so much in the in nature. Wow, nature for your fucking mental health. There's not like Wow, camping. So I started getting into it, and I thought, long again, what massive long story short. I'd be, I thought, well, I'll get this. I'll get this fucking tent. I'll get this. I'll get my backpack on. I'll be going out in the woods and that on my own. I thought, this is fucking dangerous, this. I feel fucking, this is, I really like this, you know. My missus going, is there many ghosts? I go, yeah, I talk to them all. <laughs> fucking talk to them all. Like fucking demons are there and everything. I'm like, bring it on. Barry, would you literally be on your own? On my own, mate. On my fucking own, mate. Down the woods for days, mate. And and because she's that good, she knows my brain. I'd say to her, listen, I, I need to go down to the woods. She wouldn't even ask a question. Say if I said to her, I'm off to the pub for two days. She'd, she'd fucking fuck fill you in. Up. Yeah, she she would fill me in. Yeah, she yeah, had as yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fooled by the pretty face. Hey, she's fucking hard as fuck. Hey, I'm not even messing, mate. She's hard as fuck. Anyway, but yeah, she, she, but she knows I've got. I need to go down to the woods, but. I know I'm jumping around a bit. Now I don't need to go down to the woods because I've been down to the woods. I've I've found my soul down the woods, mate, yeah? Yeah. I've done what I needed to do, mate. I've even sat down there with a gun, mate. Sat down there for two days, mate, with a loaded gun, going to shoot myself in the fucking head, mate. I was going to blast it off because, like I say, I'm, I'm going off on tangent here. I'm going all over the place. I've been down to the train tracks, mate. I couldn't fucking do it because I didn't have the balls to do it. I couldn't jump off of fucking the Umber Bridge. I drove down there. I couldn't do that. Was that where you were, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I'm telling you the truth, mate. Yeah. Like I say, I don't want to go too deep with it all because it's the fucking truth. Yeah? yeah. I didn't have the balls for that, mate. Yeah. But I did have the balls for it to shoot myself in the head. I sat down the woods one time with a gun, mate. It was loaded, mate. 
Straight what up. What percentage of body? Um, I don't really know. Uh, Children? I th- I, no, because even at the time when I wanted to do it, I didn't give a fuck because I thought I couldn't, there was nothing I could even... Uh, your mind weren't in that place. My yeah. mind weren't in that place. And that's why I do sympathise with people that I've took the life. Because years ago, I used to think it's selfish and that. Mate, it's a different ball game, mate, when you're on that. And who am I to say? Because I ain't killed. I'm not here. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a living person. But you were on the edge. I've been on the fucking edge, mate, yeah. And the only way I could do it was to switch the lights out, be fucking loaded gun. And I even thought about, I even went that far with it thinking, you know, when you put it on the films like they put a temple. Because I'm not stupid. I know the brain's behind the ear. I thought <laughs> you were I, thinking about uh, it. Yeah, because I thought I don't want to be one of these mongols that's fucking half with his head split and then surviving going like that. I thought if I'm going to shoot myself, it's going above the ear. There, do you know what I mean? No, straight up, yeah. it's going there in the fucking head. And uh, and a lot of people don't know that because I'm not going to phone me. I'm going to listen. I was sat down last week with a gun in my fucking hand in the woods. No, yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a few people that know. No, stuff. yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of people that don't even fucking know me. I'm, I'm not even asked anyway. No one really knows no, anyone yeah, I'm, what's I'm, under I'm the skin, asked, body, dude. And like I say, I'm not asked anyway. I'm only on this podcast relaying my story because you asked me to come on. Of course, yeah. Because you asked me to Thank come on. Thank you for coming on, buddy, from and the bottom of my heart. Because you asked me to come on. And I'm Thank just, you. I'm like, just saying all that. I'm just a real normal fucking person. I know you are. And that's and, what and, this, and, this podcast is. You know, I don't think myself for anything I'm quite humble I, I was dead taken back I thought why does he want to fucking talk to me and now you know now we're talking about me you know in uh, it's a good it's a good it's, it's a good it's, podcast yeah, buddy it's a good story and a, a, a thank you I seriously could, yeah. from the bottom of my heart for coming got, on I've got a lot more to say you know but but you know it's uh, in the context of things and uh, but yeah right now like I say I'm really good and uh, so anyway going back to the, what was I was saying the yeah, wild old, camping said, yeah so I was holding my breath can't see my cock I put my shoelaces on yeah. like, oh, here we go I thought right I'm going to do something now that I need to fucking do for myself so I was looking I thought right I'm going to do the coast to coast you know a big walk and good that. I man thought, I thought, I thought and, uh, what's really challenging like so Wayne Wright's coast to coast it goes from the east it goes from the um, from the west from the St. Bees yeah. all the way to Robin Hood's Bay Right, and you can get people that go on the bike, they do the coast to coast because they've been on roads and all that. Yeah, if yeah. you do Wayne Wright, Wayne Wright's coast to coast, it's off track, it's, it's off, off track, track, it's off track, and it's fucking whatever was wrong with his brain when it when he did it. Where, where it, he saw, whenever he saw the ice mountain, I'm gonna go over that. He could have took an easy route, but then, never, Wayne, Wright, Wayne Wright went that way, so <laughs> I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, you know, big fat ass here. So me, me, me. long story short, it was fucking hard work, mate. I was a, you know, show some videos or whatever. Some yeah, pictures. I will. I'll put them I, I moan like. But you know what I love about it? Listen, yeah. listen, listen, I moan like fuck. Like, I want in shape, mate. Yeah. I was always at the back. We made sure the front. I was like, fuck, I'm fucking sick of this. Here comes Sylvain again. So what happens now? It just pisses it down and makes her feet soggy. Bit of shit. Right, Marty bastard. <laughs> These couldn't take me. <laughs> All I do is moan every day. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I love loads of people you see them putting videos up on social media oh, oh yeah we're on we're, we're on the yeah. third day and we're absolutely loving it yeah. and here is you I fucking hate this day eight it's been walking constantly eight days fucking feet are killing me it's dead nice around here like it just rains all the time you have to put your jacket on and take your jacket off and put it on and put it off my fucking my boots are blown out on me as well. So every time it rains, I just get my fucking boot rain in my boots. My feet are squelchy all day, every day. There's no shops anywhere, so tomorrow I can get some new boots. And then I've got to break my boots in on a walk. So no doubt I end up getting fucking blisters on my feet again. Can't win. This time a few years ago I was on holiday. I think I was drinking pina coladas. I was getting air to rub my head in a fucking cabana. <sighs> Do anything for that. No, I just want to go home. I'm fucking sick of it. It's just sick of it. It's just, you know, and the sheep and all, I'm sick to death of the sheep. The bear, bear. All they do is fucking piss me off. Make noises of shitty existence in, in your shit field. And they eat their own shit and stink of piss. I'm sick of it. And then you get the other ones because they've got horns on them. 
they think they're really big, big bollocks. They'll stand and square up to you, so you have to fucking fuck them off. <sighs> sad enough, honestly, it's sad enough. I know some of you think it's funny and all that, and blah, 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 and whatever, but I've just, I've just fucking had enough. I'm sick of it. But I've just got to keep going. Just keep going. See you in a bit. Oh, I was fucking can't and stand you know, it, mate. You know this what? is I, fucking I, horrible. Yeah, and do you know who that shit accent? <laughs> that shit accent what I've got. <laughs> and do you know what? And I do love animals, but the <gasps> sheep piss me off. I was like, Bleh. and then, you know, because I'm a fat quite I'm slipping out and I had sheep shit all over me. <laughs> and my skin was coming off my feet. It was Yeah, because everything's fucking damp in it. Mate, it was fucking hard work. You know, if you if you How effing, long did it take you, boy? Yeah, uh, twelve days, mate. Twelve did days, yeah. Wow. Twelve days, mate. Uh, up the fucking you no, know, not no no highway, it was Wayne Mites coast to coast. Yeah. So it was we went through the we, I walked through the Lake District. Right through the Yorkshire Dales and through the Yorkshire Moors. What an experience, mate! It was it was the best worst time of my life because <laughs> when I fin <laughs> when I finished it, I was fucking emotional. Man, I was like, yeah, you done it. I was like, you fat cunt, What's you did down this. There, Michael? It's called Robin Hood's Bay, innit? Have a bit of that, you bastard! Come on, yes. I remember one time there was a section what we did because I was in the zone and I was like, because what, what happens is when you do the coast to coast, if you're not an athlete, by the way, yeah. like myself, yeah. just, just, just an a normal, athlete, yeah, just a fucking normal, just normal blow. You know, I, could, I, could, I should have trained for it properly. Yeah, but you know, wouldn't people, it... so anyway, I did it and you go through this hurt locker. So the first day, so, so let's say we did 17 miles the first day. Yeah. Did 17, and then you go on to the next day, you do the same. And then third, so then the third day, then you're really starting to yeah. fuck it. Listen, you're starting to fucking ache, mate. And I was like, I can't I don't fucking do this. Like, questioning yourself and that. Go into the fourth day, you're in agony. And then you're getting more agony. And then you're like, you want to fucking quit. And then you sort of, then like middle, of, so say it takes 12 days, in between them days, in the middle somewhere, you get to a delirious state where you're just used to the pain. And yeah. you're just going, ah, oh, fuck it. Do you know? Because yeah, you've lying. told people what you're going to do. Yeah. You can't quit. And then you start getting closer to the target. So, so you can so, fucking so then, finish. So then, so then you get closer to the target. So the last, anyway, so we're, I'm bouncing to the fucking finish line. Like, it's yay. Fucking knob out and everything. Yeah. Like, yay. <laughs> buzzing. Anyway, so the last night, me and my mate, we drank about 15 pints the night before. <laughs> then we had 17 miles the next day. Walking up this fucking hill. Uh, I never stop. I'm spewing as I'm walking. Going, Bleh. Ugh. Anyway, get to this fucking point where you can see the bay and Wayne White's Wayne White's coast to coast. You can you can go that way. Well, not Wayne White. You can go that way, or you have to do a dog leg and go up that fucking thing. And we all said to each other, "Should we just uh, <laughs> should we just fucking do one of them?" Like I, I genuinely on and on that, I contemplated it. I thought. Well, it's, it's actually my yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, no, it was yeah. my idea. Yeah, yeah. It was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was like my idea. Should we fucking skip it here, lads? Yeah. No one has to know. And I thought, and I was like, I, I, I know. And, and I thought, do you know what? No, I fucking yeah. know. Oh, I can't do that. I so I thought, oh, f you bastard. I thought, I hate you, Wayne, mate. So I thought, <laughs> I thought Wayne, mate, you fucking cunt. So we had to, so we got to the thing. And I could have just gone to the finish line. We had to turn left, mate. We turned left. Anyway, we finished it. Long story short. I was fucking crying my eyes out when we finished. Amazing, buddy. It was my achievement. Like, yeah. it was so hard to do, mate. Yeah, and you know what? Like, That's so what makes it better. Oh, and again, it changed everything, my perception and thing. And when I look back on things. If you were the same for the body and you were an athlete when you'd approached it, it wouldn't I have mean, the I same mean, meaning it. I, mean, to you. I mean, like I say, this podcast here, we're talking here, I'll probably talk about Wayne White's, Wayne White's Coast to Coast in the space of about 10 minutes. 12 days is a hard time 12, 12 days long right? days so this is short in a pocket there was so many things that happened there and didn't happen you know i fell over loads of times and my mates they're like ninjas they were fucking but and do you know what none of us fell out once boss and and because that it's was good a, for the common oh, hard body you, as well do you know what the brothers for life yeah they are brothers for life because yeah. we all picked our way through and every single one of them are animals mate yeah. in, in my own way right, not what anyone else says in my own because i know what we went through yeah they are fucking animals boss. mate we had a great time in there uh, 
it was uh, my mental health at that time was not good, mate. You know, it shows you as well, buddy, that if you can achieve that, you can achieve other things. You can achieve anything. They're the type of experiences that make you realize who you are and what you can do. And you think, you so know, say, I could do so, that. Yeah, yeah, I can and, do. I again, can do this, and again, so and again. That. So when I said earlier, you know, when I said to you like about my dad dying and that, you know, like nothing can scare me. So I've put the, so that one's a, that one's aside. No one can take that away from me. That door's shut. Mm. Yeah, and now I know I can never fucking be broken either. You can't break me. Yeah. And I think that stems from that trauma as well. Definitely. Because I'm not on that. I just, just, I can't quit, mate. No, no, no one can break me, mate. You can't break me, mate. Right, mate. No one can fucking break me, mate. <laughs> I'm telling you, mate, fucking bring it to me and you'll yeah. fucking fall on your ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's good, you know, Barry. That's the, that's that, the, the attitude that's you've the got. That's the mentality I need. Yeah, yeah. And that's, and my, like I say, my outlook on life and everything. And I'm so I, happy I, for I, you, And Barry. I own this power that I possess in my, my soul that mm. I know how strong I am. It's, you know, I'm not I'm not a machine or I'm not, I'm not asked about all that. No. I, know, I know in my soul. That's who my, you that, are. Not just that. That's married to my brain. I know who I am. Yeah. I know who I am, and I'm right this minute. I can say, "Sir, true chair, to yourself." I'm true to myself, mate. And there's no one even watch this. I've never shit on anybody. I'm loyal as fuck. I try to be a good man. I'm a good dad. You know, I've got a good missus. I've got a good foundation. I know what's fucking right, and I will fight for injustice that's going on in the world. And that's a fucking fact. I'll never stop. Yes, I'll never stop, mate. Ever. I'll never stop. You've got a business, haven't you? I did have, mate, yeah. I, I, I sort of have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rat, the rats were up against... Again, unloyalty. Unloyalty, mate. Unloyalty. What, what, what's your business? It's distribution, Distribution, isn't it? yeah, yeah. But there's too many shitbags in the game, like, again, so... Uh, I've let it sort of fall on the slide. I threw bits and bobs, but... Yeah, they're all shitbags, mate. Right. And, and obviously, the fuel, the fuel consumption, the, the fucking... I got it in the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got in it at the wrong time. Yeah. Because I, when I when I started my business, I was up. Then COVID hit me in the first year when I started my business. <laughs> then after that, the so called manufactured living crisis, the fuel consumption. Yeah. And then and then there was people jumping ship. I was loyal. I How was, did he justify the fucking I was price lo- increase? I, I was loyal with my business and uh, again, it's another thing I took on the chin. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to be. I still do bits. But it's yeah. not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Not to the scale. It's not to the scale like it could have been if it weren't for COVID and the, the, the dreams I had. But I'll go again. Like yeah. I say, and I'm it's smiling. Lean, listen, listen, I'm smiling. Yeah. I'm, there's people that ruin their, what I went through with my business, it ruined their life. That's just one little snippet. Barry, the amount of people, the amount, I, I know some successful businessmen, yeah, like so on do a I. personal so level. So do I, mate, yeah. And, and, every good, one, and fair play to them. And every one of them have said it's, to me. Uh, they've hit the wall. Loads of times. Yeah, exactly. And loads, of, sometimes it's the eighth business, the ninth exactly. business, the tenth business that's successful. Exactly. Or they might have one business, but I tell you now, it wouldn't have been fucking easy. Exactly. Like I said, you is. need to fucking rise and fall, but... Right this minute, I've got no other little ventures on the go, but... Would you like to do any shout-outs before we go? Is there anybody who could be watching this, whether it be a family member, your missus, friends, anyone who you'd like to do a shout-out to, your kids, anyone personally that you'd like to send a message to or do well, a shout-out to? Obviously, my missus. My missus is fucking just... Un- no, I'm, I'm honestly... She, so we have ups and downs like everyone else, yeah? She's a pain in the fucking ass sometimes and all, you know. Sometimes she gets a slap and all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, so, no, but listen, when, when she knows she's wrong, she fucking knows. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm like, nah, fuck off you. Uh, no, but, no, but we're, we're sound. And uh, yeah, there's a mate of mine and uh, I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, he knows who he is and he's my go-to. Yeah. And I, and he was actually my missus's best mate. Right. So I'd never known him from Adam. Strange one. Never known him from Adam, and they are good mates. You should, yeah. And you know, when some lads who are je- if, if lads have got jealous in, in, in uh, tendencies, they're going to think, why is he your best mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, long story short, and uh, the last two years, he's been fucking solid with me. And uh, he's gone on his own path, and mate, our brains together have become fucking dangerous, mate. And he even puts me on the ancient alchemy. Now, that's something I don't know much about. He talks about alchemy. Um, and he's actually so in ancient Egyptians there's a lot of things with alchemy now I told you about it being a yeah, function yeah. he's gone down a completely different route he's into his psychedelics his DMT yeah. his mushrooms Sick. he fucking knows the score mate but we've helped each other yeah. we've, we've, we've both been when, when me and him become mates probably we've both confined in each other we're both broken people really mate And he, but listen 
since my dad I never had a go to. I've got really good mates as well. Yeah, yeah. He's my he's your man. He's my fucking go to. Yeah. And it, and he'll tell me, he'll say, shut up. Yeah, that's what you need. Barry, that's a proper friend. That's a proper and I'll tell him to shut up as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't live in his pocket, he doesn't live in mine, but he is fucking he's on the but he's on the wire, mate. He's dead intelligent. Get him on here, mate, one yeah. time. Yeah, if you could get him on in get the future bars, we'll get him get on. Get him on here, mate. And I tell you what, he'll fucking decimate you all it, with uh, psychedelics. <laughs> He's a psychonaut. Yeah, I love all that though. He's a so we'll get him on and he, he can knows shake him out. He knows his shit, mate. For you, what's next in this journey called life? Um, just, uh, just keep being a fucking, just keep it real. I'll never stop him. When, when we're all ready to take to the streets, I'll be with him. I write the fun, write the fucking fun. And I know, you know, this. That's not. That's not what you want to hear on podcasts or whatever. No, but, it but is. this is what it's come to. That's why it's called. This, shake is, my this is what it's come to. I know. You know, in this work, you're all wrapped up in your lives and that sat home, and you got your shit TV on. This is what it's come to for me to say. This is what it's got to come to for us to change something. We need action now. I'm ready to go fucking now for my children's futures now. And that now I mean it. Other than that, I don't want to see any cunt. You can all stay the fuck away from me, and I'll just be on my own and have a little bit of peace. I've used this one before, Baz. The top of the one mountain is the bottom of another. Absolutely. Thank you very much for coming Absolutely. on. Absolutely, I really appreciate it Absolutely. from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely, thank you. Nice top one, thank you, thank you. thank you, thank you, guys. Thanks very much thank for you. tuning in. Yes. Um, if, you wanna give us a, <laughs> if you want to give us, if you want to give us, I've never done that before. I won't be doing it again. <laughs> If you want to give us a little like or a little follow on Insta, <laughs> Facebook, anything like that. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, it helps us massively. Thanks very much. And until next time, guys, much love. Peace out.